You move over. <laughs> <laughs> what up, what up? What up, Rom? Not much. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. How you doing, player? Hanging out there. Hanging in. Hanging out there. It's... I don't believe Bulldog doesn't battle. He could take down the heavy hitters with that collection. That's what I say. Oh, no. Wait, Bulldog has never battled? Uh, I'm a lover, not a fighter. You're a VA. That makes two of us. Right. It's a fun. I got a little fun. I got a little fight me, though. There right. you go. Let's go. Just kidding. What's oh, up, bro? What up, Hunter? I was, hang I was hanging out with uh, Veronica for a little while, so. Shout out, Miss Rami. I had to spend some time with her, you know, so she don't get mad. No, they're not. <laughs> hey, happy didn't wife, hear that. happy life. Caught, caught up on some uh, Chicago PD. <laughs> now we're talking. So, yeah. Yeah. So my it's... show's right there, too. All right. Um, he has another question. What's both of your uh, favorite sneakers of all time? You guys have them in hand or nearby? Yep. I don't have my favorite sneaker of all time. I wish. Or in your collection, what do you have in your collection? That oh, in the collection, okay. In the collection, I don't know. Rami can grab his pair of oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. grab what? <laughs> All yeah, right. favorite pair in the collection. I right, so I'll, I'll grab a couple of pairs. Hold on one second. Let me just pull up the chat so I can see. Oh man, see, Wilk is like Don King out here, man. He's already lining up the fights. He says, no. This is Bulldog. <laughs> Dude, go. that'd be great. We, that's what we need to do. Uh -huh. We need to get a promoter, and we need to start having some <laughs> some sneaker battles and some <laughs> some fights. All right, I, I'm ready. You want to go first, Hunter? All right, let's go. Yeah, why not? All right, you said two, but you're getting three. So, uh, Flacco says uh, Bulldog is like Chuck Norris. He can't battle when he already won. Thank you, Flacco. <laughs> 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 so. Black Cement threes and the True Blue threes was what started for me, where I stopped looking at them as just basketball shoes and started looking at them as more like stylish shoes. And when I say True Blue, I mean the real True Blue threes with the blue sock line, not the red, the blue. Ooh, okay. Not the other ones that came out later, which they're still cool and all, but I've always liked the original the best. And my most recent favorite shoe is a Nike SB Dog Walkers because uh, when my dog passed away, I was really, really like down and out. And the beautiful guy underneath me, or on an angle for me, Mr. SB Rami, got the boys together and surprised me with this. And when I tell you, like, at a time where I needed that, that real picker up. It was, it was beautiful to see that the guys got together and cared that much about me to do something cool like this. And uh, they also, it's a picture of me and my dog on the back that I added. Shout out to Seawolf Bank. Seawolf, the man who does the jewelry. So if anybody needs jewelry, also hit that man up. Don't go get, don't get taken advantage out of some store. Hit him up. He'll give you a great price on whatever you need. But what up, that's man? why now this is in my top favorites of all time. Because you know what? I can replace those. You can't replace something like this. I'm just you can't. Like like this is way. This is more than a sneaker. Like so, when you get hit with that question, you know you grabbing a sneaker. The house is on fire. Like. Like this is this is in my hand no matter what. Like I'm pushing kids out the way to get this. <laughs> get out there, we'll say right. <laughs> what up, rugs? What up, it's a beautiful shoe, the dog walkers, and who's next? That's right, funny. <laughs> I don't know if you, I don't know if you missed it when you walked away. He called you a beautiful man. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so one of, my, one of my favorites in the collection. You know, the what the pause? Oh, there we go. This got me. Uh, like I said, this got me back into it. So, a couple years ago. So got these, and then the one other one. You know, which I still can't believe I own because after a few trades, you know, got your Travis. Uh, Travis SB. So. 
yeah, still can't I still can't get myself get myself to put these on foot, but yeah, you know, beautiful shoe. Yeah, those are my those are my two I'd give. All right. Bam. What a biggie. There's the there's mine. Fire at fours. I'm gonna do it, Siwa. And then uh little brother or big brother, however you wanna call it. The OG 2019. Oh, I need that oh, pair. I need that pair. Yeah. Those two right there. Stop it. Right. His dog likes them too. Iggy <laughs> <laughs> in the building. The emotional connections mean more. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, makes it more than just a shoe. You got any uh, shoes you want to show, J Mac? Uh, some of the favorites in your. Some of the bangers? Oh. I, I don't have any out. Um, Come on, Jay. What's your favorite, though? Not not a banger. Your favorite. You can pull out, pull out the Lightning McQueen's. We're not going to judge These are my favorite. Oh, okay, okay. Right here. Oh, oops! Crenshaw's. What's his favorite? Till he dropped them. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Just I don't know. I've been just kind of you know I always go kind of through phases where I'll have my favorite. Usually they don't last very long, and then you know I'll have a, a new flavor of the week per se. But yeah, I, I just really like this pair. You know, fairly new, so um, still haven't you know worn them to the point where I don't like them anymore. But definitely <laughs> like this pair. For and sure. If, and it was something pretty close by. Yeah, and then uh J Max, one of the few that you know actually skates in his shoes. Yeah, some of them, <laughs> not all of them. I'll break my neck. Oh, not yeah. all of them. <laughs> Got a few people says yes, sir. Love those J Mac. Yeah. 20 years ago, I would go out skating with you now. Not a shot. There we go. We can get you on the rollerblades, maybe. <laughs> We got 80 in the building. Make sure you guys subscribe my, to each one of my us. My problem with rollerblading was I couldn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to just be – they used to call me and my other friend, the Bashman Brothers from Mighty Ducks, because when I play hockey, I couldn't stop, so I just smashed somebody. <laughs> just right through the wall. I had to stop. What up, Ty? That's awesome. What up, Ty? So, yeah, so – you see a uh, crew, you got crew, and uh, I think Roscoe uh, a little mad in uh, tomorrow. They're gonna be playing. Oh, oh nice. Uh, oh, what's up, Jazz Mom? Sorry, sorry to keep you awake. <laughs> <laughs> sorry about that. I'm going for crew. Yeah. Going for crew. Team crew. Yep. Me too. Until until oh, that man. until that guy Roscoe shows his face in my stream, I'm going team crew. Yep, yep. There you go. <laughs> so, so it's anonymous. We're all going for crew. We're all going for crew. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Go. Cool. No one's crew. really cheering for Roscoe. <laughs> 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 Let's keep it on no bundle. All right. So. What what teams? When's what that? Is that tomorrow it? night, Romy? I think during the day they're gonna play each other. I don't know. But yeah, see, oh. see the race swap I did. Oh snap! One oh, second. Oh, okay. I put the one blue, one uh, purple in here. So, ah man, nice. Oh, J Mac got two of those, right? Yeah, yep. Two of the heises, size ten. So. Hey, I won't skate in those probably. Yeah, I got two thirteens. Thirteen. Did you see the? Did you ever see the cartoons I have on my arm? Um, I did. Yeah, I, well, I saw show, some of them. Show, show, because we got a lot of people in here. Who yeah. Seen oh, we got. Uh, let's see. Hold on. I got, I'll do it standing up. All right. So we got GI Joe with the Snorks, Alf, Ghostbusters, the Thundercats. Go. Ah. Uh, up here, you got the turtles. What was the Taz back here? Good, all the good 90s stuff. Man. You got the Bart with the Nike SB. Oh, that's a good one. Skeletor, Care Bears. So, yeah. Hopefully, we don't get clapped for showing guns Our on childhood right there, right? <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. You had one guy do all that, right, Rami? Yeah, three about three and a half sessions, eight hours of the piece. Yeah, he does really good. I like oh, yes. his style, big time. Appreciate it, guys. Yeah. Hey, Alexandra. Alexandra. Salute. 
What's up, Alexandra? So yeah, I did uh I did it last summer after after we got done with Taylor Swift concerts. I was like uh did the one session, did the second session like a week later, like on a separate party arm, and then I had to let that heal. And then did the what another eight hour session after that a couple weeks later. And then I uh, finalized it like about four or five hours. Jules in the building. Appreciate it. It's a nice tat. Um, my tat is a Dragon Z. Oh, nice. Oh, no, Dragon Ball Z. Got you. He says, hi, guys. Hell yeah. And the other tat is my, my leg. He, the same guy did my leg with the uh, Raiders and the uh, Yankees and stuff. How much did your arm cost you, Rami? If you don't well, I went, to, I went to high school as a kid. Uh, I grew up with him. So he gave me he gives me a good price. So I would say each, each session was about like eight hours. He only charged usually he charged like two fifty an hour. Yeah, he only charged me about like a hundred hundred fifty bucks an hour instead. Damn, you got all that done for under like a thousand bucks. Well, per session, so I would say a total about like oh. a, maybe a total of about like three thousand or whatever. Nice. And then oh. there was four. Hey, yeah, I have. JC says, give us a uh, Seth Rogen laugh. Or I, I don't have the Seth Rogen one, but I'll uh, uh, well, hey, What up, JC? What up, Miss? That's funny. That's his clip, yes. <laughs> Thundercats <laughs> OG. Yep. That's awesome. So. Heck yeah. But yeah, so then, I came, like I said, he did my first I did my leg was the first one I did a couple years before that. You want to take off your shirt and show your tattoos? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's what she he did. He did her back too, but, but yeah, no, he's he's really he's really good. He, it takes about a year and a half to get an appointment with him. Dang, he, he's wow. uh he's booked. So, like, I my next appointments aren't until January. Wow. I have to wait till. Yeah, the good ones usually are. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's why I said you always, you know, like if you, you know, it's a pro- if you walk into a tattoo shop and the guy says, "I got time," you know, come in. In they come in now, like that's a sign to turn around. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Gotta go. We're gonna have a couple more drinks first. You're gonna get some. You're gonna get some Chinese symbols that you don't know what they what they say, and then it says like I'm an asshole or something on it. No <laughs> regrets. No regrets. Oh <laughs> well, yeah, that was funny. Yeah, so yeah, I have the Raiders, the Yankees, and the Rangers on my on my leg. Let's go. Oh, uh, shock drop. I'm um, not shock drop, but EA tomorrow morning, right? Supposedly, uh, for JD Sports finish line for the fours. Do you think, do you think it's gonna sell out? Mm, not the smaller sizes. For what, the are the price, what are the prices looking like now? Do you know? Uh, some prices are under retail already. Some sizes. I'm sorry. Okay, so bigger sizes though are not under retail. Mm, just about. Okay. So if you're going to get them and sell them on the aftermarket, then you're going to go upside down. Yeah. Gotcha. Personals. The sulfur's got kind of a vintage midsole, right? The back part, I, I believe. Is kind of off-white? Yeah. I kind of like them. <laughs> I think Rob needs them as well, 10 and a half mints. Okay. I'm sure Rob will get them. He always hits on uh, EA. Pretty much for the most part. The the only thing is uh JD Sports finish line and FLX they pulled their size twelves off their the raffles for some reason. That's correct. Yeah, hurts. I noticed that. Interesting, right? Mm-hmm. So I don't know if they just put them on uh sneakers app or Nike pulls the, those bigger sizes for some reason. Right? I, I used to be happy, I just made it. What up, Hunter? What up, Hunter? Hey, <laughs> cousin Hunter, what's good? Smoke puff clouds in the chat. <laughs> oh, Jersey said, J-Mac, you going after the Imran potatoes tomorrow? Um, I, I, just, I don't really like the outsole on those. I I, I like the way they look. I'd, I'd probably rather have a pair that came out, you know, before that. And Beans and New Schools probably look so close to that. Um, I'd, I'd probably just rather grab a, a dope colorway um, and just hold off. But I'm still thinking about picking up the black pair. What about but, yeah, I don't like how they made the rugged outsole. So what's your? How do you feel about all the SPs that are coming out that that they showed so far? Like uh, the dinner like plate, pastor. Uh, well, let's so like say pastoral prints are the next one. Say, you like those? Um, not in particular. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, 
Um, I do like the live, laugh, loves. Yeah, I is. like. I just don't know if it's a pair I need. Okay. But I definitely like. The, I, I especially like the laces. Uh, they're going to be coming with. Um, the dinner plate ones are are kind of cool, but honestly, probably I'll probably hold off till either the Safari Olympic strop or the Futuras. Okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. Well, because these are party Olympics, you know, like the Pastorals Party Olympic Pack. Oh, it is. I didn't know that. The dinner plate is part of the Olympic Pack, like the oh. S it's called S Cargo. So mm. it's like the delicacy there. So that's why they went with that. So, oh, what's it called? S Cargo, like the snails. They're snail. I had a snail shit in my hand one time when I was young. <laughs> I picked it up from the river and do it. If my hand smelt for like a month. Wow. <laughs> no kidding. It, it took one dump in my hand to the point where I was like, oh, what did it do? You know, I, I, and I threw it and I had like that crap in my hand. I washed my hand <laughs> off. My hand smelled like, a, like literally like a snail for at least a month. It did not go away. It was like a skunk. <laughs> yeah, no, I remember. Uh, I remember the one time my sister, my sister stepped on a snail, and got stuck in her foot. Like the one time, a little guy, a little one. Like she was, we were we were overseas. We were in Israel. Oh man! And the rivers there, and everything is all like uh, rock. Like the, all the, like the beach, whatever, it's all rocky. Yeah. So. My sister stepped down right onto the snail, and it got like that, like dig it out of her, out of her foot. Damn. Did it get infected? I don't know. I was young at the time. Ah, oh. it was it was nasty. Ouch! Mm -hmm. Don't I bet. Oh yeah, I, don't, I didn't smell her feet. So unless was, you know, oh. unless I was maybe the baddie I was hanging around with at the time, maybe <laughs> no, I didn't I didn't watch either. after her. But I'm pretty sure it was a snail. Oh, no. oh, no. I hope she's not watching right now. <laughs> You're going to have like 17 text <laughs> messages cursing you right now. What up, Birdo? Congrats, Trader Toe. He says, I copped Air Max eye shots today. The black with gum bottom already Oh, there, there we go. go. Trader Toe, he said. Yeah. He's them all Dude, good. that's a good one. It's got some nice colors on the bottom as well. The air pocket, I think, might be like a, what it up, almost looks like a blue color, a light blue. Those are pretty. Gum bottoms, black on the upper. All right. He Definitely going to be copping that parody collab. Andrew. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Andrew says, "What's up from Alabama, fellas?" There we go. Whoa, all right. Big up, Andrew. Yeah, it's blue. He says, "There we go." Roll tide, huh? Hey, Andrew, how's shoes out there in Alabama? Yeah. Oh I man. Find a place where they're not so crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's blue. Yeah, they got some baddies down there in Alabama. Well, right. Said shoes, my dog came people from. are buying shoes a lot. We'll go find out. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I want a nice area where, like, everybody's not going crazy for shoes. Where they're just gonna sit on the shelves. My, my dog, my dog's a rescue from Alabama. Oh, oh wow. Wow. is there a roll tide? Mm -hmm. oh, go, go, go you, yeah. says Flacco. <laughs> Flacco's <laughs> going for his team right there. Hi, J Mac. Ain't no bad. <laughs> Burns says, ain't no baddies there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we all know that, I think. Shoes are slim says, like here. here. <laughs> Man, shoes are slim around here, but baddies, plentiful. He caught me. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, so the pastoral <laughs> prints, so the pastoral prints uh, have something to do with Paris, too. So, yeah, I don't really like the under, the, the, I, th right? like, I feel like they could have, Maybe made those a, like a little bit better with maybe putting a better pattern underneath or you know different color maybe. Yeah. What do you think of that pattern? Eh, I'm not like I said. I wasn't a big guy, the pa fan of the Paisleys when they came out last year. Yeah. I, I didn't get them, so like this just gives me the same type of vibe. So. Yeah. I would probably rather have the Paisleys though if I. <laughs> Had to pick one. And the Paisley's had a better under color also as opposed to these. Like these are what red, I think, if you cut them open. Like a maroon kind yeah. of yeah. The, like the Paisley's had that cool, nice uh what was that cream color or whatever? Like a white uh suede underneath it. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure. Yeah, I never yeah. got that one. But yeah. I didn't mind them. Yeah, no, they were they're all right, but like I said, I like them what they call in the Rami. Uh pastoral mm -hmm. prints. 
Paisley's are nice, just nice shoe. Not that I'm biased. That's all right. He said, especially SBs. We we haven't uh, had a skate shop since maybe early mid nineties to two thousand. Damn, he's like me. Yeah, that's kind of like us in kind of the upper north Midwest. Um, I feel like yeah, skate shops definitely went away. So it's definitely nice to see, um, you know, the shod wares, like other SB shoes that, you know, if I would go to or travel to another skate shop that they would actually have, um, you know, some dope silhouettes. I mean, usually they always had like the Stefan Janikowski's, Janoski's, which I, you know, we're always all right, but it definitely is nice to yeah, have a Any shoe like that. I think it's better than the SB, more comfortable. Anything um, crazy I'm weak for. Keep hating on Pastoral Moore size 13 for me. I love that pattern. I don't care what the undertone is. <laughs> there you go. Hey. Hell yeah. That's hey, a good great thing about man. this our sneaker game right now. Yeah, like I said, there's a, I'm I'm being very selective this year. Like last year I went to I went too crazy. I, I bought every SP that came out pretty much. Me I too. So I was like, this year, you know, let me be a little more like I skipped on the navy gums, you know. I was like, I Me too. Oh, you know, some, of them, some of them were pretty simple again. There were a lot of them are easy to get, which is great. You know, mm -hmm. but still, yeah. Yeah. Most of, them, so most of them you can get. And if you miss out, you can get them for on a low. So that's why yeah. that's why if I skip on these pastorals, I can always reach back if I decide I want to get them later on. And yep. you know, it won't be too bad. But get to restock out there. Yeah, some of the skate chumps. I mean, it's crazy. I was looking at premieres. Just the dunks and SBs that they just had sitting on shelves, you know, where you could go at any time. And there was at least probably eight pairs of them. I saw wow. Premier, Premier drop some uh, chlorophylls today, which I was uh, I was shocked by. I saw I got an alert. Oh, and really? I didn't see that. Chlorophyll SB nice. came out a couple years ago? Yeah. No, it's a good color. Yeah, they had, so they had a couple of like, small Kind size. of looked like the dinner plates almost, huh? Yeah. 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 But they're, they're like the gray and black. My wife has them. But yeah. Oh, they're gray and black. Yeah, the chlorophyll ones. Oh, I'm thinking. Of, I must be thinking of the chloroform yeah, one. Chlorophyll SBs. No, uh, second one. That's what you're thinking of. The chloroform. Yeah. 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 Uncle Chris. Chlamydia. <laughs> black eye shot. Oh, that was a doctor appointment. <laughs> <laughs> I got that taken care of. <laughs> um, straight to toe says I'm only gonna grab the navy guns because I have the red ones. <laughs> No, it, it's a it's a nice looking. Even the, like most of the orange label SBs that dropped, yeah. if you find a color that works with you, the materials on them are really nice for a hundred bucks. I think these ones. Oh, those are sweet. Yeah. Right. So they yeah. dropped. Yeah, these dropped on Premiere today. Some sizes I saw a sneaker Twitter. What one of them posted? Really? But yeah. Damn, I wish I could have gotten a size nine and a half in that one. I don't even think they had that big. Uh, nah. last, the only picture I saw had like four and a half, five, five and a half. Wow, that's a banger. I yeah, like that one. It's almost impossible. The things they found in the back stuck behind 20 boxes. Comfortable. Skate and shops wife, have been making wife. a huge comeback in, in Japan, Japan since the Olympics. Olympics. Again, those red SPs before we do. Yeah, a lot of Asia's yeah. getting the Chicago's, the with the green ones too, the J Pack, not not J Pack, but the ones that look like J Pack. Tomorrow, right? The SBs, uh, the Chicago's dropping the UK. Possibly, I think I think it's tomorrow, and then the next day. Oh yeah, I go SBs. Yeah, Japan's been especially the the new upcoming talent. I would say outside of the US, Japan is probably where US was on track skateboarding maybe like ten years ago, and I feel like the progression on the Japan side is almost worked as fast as on the U S side. It's, it's real cool to see. There's a lot of, um, you know, real young skaters, both from, you know, Japan and, you know, here in the States, but there's probably a handful in Japan that are going to be a problem for the next 10 years or so. <laughs> the Jin Woo's of the world. Well, they won't be dropping in Japan tomorrow if there's that uh, tsunami going on, you know? Oh man. Oh, I tell you what Nigel did to some of the, you know, Nigel gets by wearing like some of his drip because he's such a good skater. But you can see some of the younger skaters now rocking some of that drip, and it's like, oh, you got to be pretty good to pull that off, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Jin Woo can do it though. If there's one guy that can do it, he's been throwing down some like triple. Yeah. 
Yeah. Been man, I'm out. surprised on the Aisas, man, how, how low they went. That's a beautiful shoe. Right? You should, uh, Hunter, you should hit up uh, so see if they have them at the skate shop over there. Oh, I, I got lucky. The the guy next to, next to me hit for nah. His pair will be there Thursday. I just checked the tracking. Well, thank you. Now I know. Yep, Thursday. Those John Adidas ones that went up too. Oh, did they? Wow. Yeah, yeah. They're the 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 light colored pair is up to over four hundred dollars now. Uh -huh. I mean, depending what size you're looking for, but yeah, those. I, are got, kind of, I got rid of that black pair quick. I bro. know you probably they went up the black pair. Well, it's it's going for like a hundred more now. Uh most of them are going for like right around like three fifty. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, let's see what he said. Nigel threw a red light party last month. It was pretty mellow. My roommate invited me to his place, says Hunter. There you go. How's everybody doing today? Doing fantastic. I want to go to you guys' red light party. Taco <laughs> Tuesday, baby. Let's go. Tuesday. I didn't get tacos though. I did get a free uh I did get the what was it? The buy one get one thing that Chipotle hit uh dropped today, like the Ooh, the buy one get one at Chipotle. The link. You had to like uh cut you had to do like this whole burrito thing and uh you had to figure out which toppings and stuff to use in order to get it. Like there was a whole puzzle thing. Oh shit. How do you hit the like button? There, 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 like there, a CCS there, raffle. How do you like the but like button on this version? You gotta go to the top right three buttons. And uh, you'll see the like button under that. So what up, Rob? It's stupid. It'd be nice if they fix it. Come up here. Area says salutes, every, everyone. What up, area? But yeah, so what was I saying? You said thanks. Appreciate it, Berto. Oh, the, your burrito, your chipotle. Oh, yeah. So, oh. so Rob Rob sent it like in a, in a text or whatever, like the link to sign up for it. And you like I said, it asked you like what kind of burrito you're looking for, a bowl, a burrito, this or that, whatever. You have to pick one and then you have to pick the meat, the rice, the this, and then you had to make sure you pick the right the right stuff or you don't you don't win. You have to open up the unlock the vault to see if you get the co the code. <laughs> so I'm sitting there I'm sitting there trying to build this freaking burrito. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like I keep getting the wrong toppings and everything. <laughs> but finally, uh Well, you gotta put the meat on yourself. You had to like you had to click on which uh, you wanted on it. Oh, cool. digitally. Mm hmm. Mm. But yeah, so after all that, uh, I looked on someone else's. I looked on a Discord and in a general chat, and someone posted the answers. I was like, all right, thank God. Let's go. <laughs> I don't have a Chipotle within like four hours of me. Jeez. Wow. I know, huh? I'll be right back. So we got the for link. He says, I'd love to have a pair of the uh, Kaisa Dunk Low Rose Casino. Mm, I don't know where J Mac is like, Wait, you had to make your own burrito? <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. Well, with the way everything is now, everything is self service. Uh, I, go to, I go to a supermarket, you know, like Hunter goes to. You know, you go, you check out your own. And. They're just trying to tell you how to do it and how not to do it. I'm like, you want to do it for me? Go right ahead. You know, I'm the one that's here checking myself out. Right? Like, so, like they have you don't yeah. don't give me, don't give me the option to skip bagging. You know, if I don't, you know, if you know, if you don't want me to do it. So like, what I would what do, I would I would hit the, I would scan the items, hit skip bagging, and put it right into my cart instead of putting it onto the scale thing. Dang. So they're like, oh, you have to put everything onto the the scale. The scale. I'm like, why yeah. do you that option? I'm like, come, I'm like, do it for me. I'm the, like, you're not paying me to do it for sure. Uh, yeah, we've seen that, that that meteor shower was crazy for sure. Yeah, meteor shower was crazy this morning. What a bacon in South uh, Southern California. They don't know what in the building. Aliens. What up, Radix? Oh, that's what crew said. Aliens. Aliens. So thanks to the pandemic. Pandemic. <laughs> hey, Bulldog, you watched that video I sent to the comedian? Oh man. Hi, Whatever, Area 13. He says, just got home from my first day at work. Let's go, Rainex. There you go. Congrats. Congrats. Nice, there you go. Nice. 
One day down. All right. One day down. Six and years to go. One day closer to quitting. And the rest, <laughs> of, the rest of your life. The rest of your life to go. Right. Just keep playing the lotto. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure hey, somebody's got to win. It's always good to get that first day behind you, though. So big up getting that thing behind you. Right. Keep it first going. First day's always the worst. Yep. Keep it going. I'm ready for my last day. <laughs> Me too. Oh, right. God. I only got another 20 years. Uh until I can retire. Hey, time flies, man. All right. It's already been time 10 time. almost. Yeah. So Oof. I don't know. Did you guys see the the Wem the Wembies that you look at? The what? The one that green one, pair? One by Anna. They, uh, yeah. Getting his own uh Nike shoe, basketball sneaker with the alien on the back. Oh, oh one one he's got a picture? Yeah, it's not, I got uh, a piece out the that's got an alien on it. <laughs> <laughs> the ray guns are better. <laughs> he says, I need the Wemby aliens. Let's go, Hunter. Hunter, you need the aliens. The way they're trying to raise retirement, we gonna be working. Oh so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. We gotta quit spending money, so we got money there when we get older. <laughs> right. Our Jen's gonna be working till we're eighty. That's what collecting all the shoes do for you later on, and you can't move it that much anymore. Then that's when it comes time to sell. Yeah, hey, these are the, these are the Wemby's. So is it just a special colorway on the Hustle 2, or is this like a brand new Scylla? It just says Wemby's GT Hustle 2. Okay. Scheduled to be releasing. It's got the little alien head on the back of the face. Oh, shit. That's uh, Wemby himself, isn't it? <laughs> right? Right. You guys are freak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so there you go. You got that. And then, what's this first? Uh, yeah, take a look at those that uh, that Futura pair there with the the the, the blue the sample. The, yeah, I'm Maybe. glad they didn't look like that. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't go with the blue toe. Yeah, that sucks. That kind of reminds me. Like I have the Run the Jewels, but I don't like how the Run the Jewels color like color block theirs either. The, oh, the, yeah, it's like the toe box for what was it? It's not the Leonardo. It's the reverse ones, right? Was that the one that's blue? Um, yeah, right. Uh, the, the run the jewels. No, the ones that Hunter just showed before the reverse Leonardo's. The same blue. Oh, I'm not sure. The same blue. Here, I don't think I saw that one. Yeah. Here you go. Uh, yeah. One second, I got you, Hunter. Let me see. Which? Oh, I like. I really like that pair. Oh, there you go. Yep. I I missed the pair the other day by like a second. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so those are. I'm still stars. looking to pick one up. I Did like that. Samples. Then, so how's it? I have a question. How does this paper not like get wet or something? You know, like they have the Supreme uh, wallet. I'm guessing it's the material is probably like it's, like it's all loose. Like when they open like you it wouldn't up. be be able to rip it though. All right. It's like Probably like Tivic envelopes. Like a Tivic envelope. Because it's like a woven fiber, you can't rip it. It looks like paper, but it's not. Yeah, it's just really tough to to rip. Yeah. So what's this supposed to mean? Is there supposed to be a, a drop coming up? Yep. That's gonna. That looks like a mamba drop. Yeah. Is this supposed to be like? Are they thinking there's gonna be like an EA or something coming up? Well, yep. yeah, because those are dropping on the 13th, so that's yeah. only 11 days away. So maybe um, we'll see, we'll probably see like an LA drop or something. Probably yeah. LA, yeah. Mm -hmm. They usually have the yep, yep, needed or whatever. Yeah, so. I never get chosen. Whenever they have those, I never even have an uh, like an option to win. Right. I hear I hit, that. I think what one. Well, I hit the sneakers, but we hit the sneakers pass for the awake airships. You know that was the last. Oh one. yeah, but didn't that go out to like everyone? No, only New York City. Oh, only New York. Okay. Yeah. So me and uh, me and Hunter each hit on that. Nice. How do you like that pair? Well, I, I I got it for the beard. You know. Uh, oh. Oh. It, it, it is nice. 
It was yeah. a good one. I, I don't have any airships in my collection, so that do you was got them right now? The awake ones. Yes, I do. Oh see. yeah, let's see those. Let's just do a pile. I got them in at the moment. There we go. Been buying way too many shoes recently. <laughs> Welcome to the club. <laughs> there you guys are home. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we have these meetings on Tuesday, Hunter. <laughs> I'm going to have to rent a U-Haul just to take the shoes back with me. That's the truth. It's got the A here for, for that because I'm an amazing person. <laughs> the scarlet letter. Right, but just, just that red like snake skin look is just dope. Nice and plush also the leather. Yeah, they're good looking shoe. Mm -hmm. Got a lot of cushion to that leather. Got the wax kind of overlay on the on the outsole. Yeah. Excellent. You got the keychain on the other one. And oh, that's cool. So there's an eleven. So yeah. you know. And it says awake on the on the wings instead of Jordan. Nice. I'm pretty sure. If you turn around the the wings, you'll see uh, on the top. You can't see with your lighting, but uh, on the top of the wings, it says awake instead of uh, Jordan. Hunter says uh, airships pretty much underrated. To be honest, the only thing that holding them back is the the shit stains. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the the bottom doesn't look very natural. Oh, don't but... about this. <laughs> the keychain. You this one as a chain on your chain, like it's so big. I got the shorts. The shorts are my favorite out of all that. Size this thing. I give you. Uh, did you see the shorts, Jay? Right, that came out with those. Um, not. No, I don't think so. I, I have them. Hold on, my wife will grab them for me. My my Vanna White over here. Those are probably <laughs> sweet. Oh my god, they're, they're, really, they're really nice. I, I I usually never I wouldn't I get them, but but here. yeah, Wake's a good brand. So you got the the Wake here. Here's oh, those are nice. I can already see the there, mesh. You got the snakeskin uh, going around the border, all around. You got the where is it? The twenty three right here. But they're they're so they're really thick. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so dude, these were the best. They're definitely quality. Looks like that Eric Emanuel mesh. Yeah, but nice. Up that nice stuff. Back, uh, on the back here, you got a pocket on the on the ass cheek with uh, it's got a nice zipper back here. Nice. Yeah. But yeah, no, these were these were nice. They were ninety bucks, but they were worth it. Oof. Uh, nice. I mean, Eric Emanuel's are the same price, and those aren't. The, at least you got like zippered pockets. Yeah, and the, and the thickness too. The yeah, head, those look. Those are not, nice. It's not a light. Yeah, I like those. Mm -hmm. he, South Jersey said he took uh, some alcohol to his, and they look better on the. On the, the air he took things. Uh -huh. I stepped in a, a pile of dog shit when I was skateboarding tonight, and I had it all <laughs> over my grip tape. Oh, it was awful. Oh, man, y'all be the dog? puppy. Was it your dogs? Uh yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Custom dog walkers. <laughs> I guess better your dogs than somebody else's, right? Oh, I would have been pissed if it would have been someone else's. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it was mine. I was still mad, obviously, at myself, but it was a little bit easier. Do you guys have grass right now, or is there still snow? Um, pretty much grass. There's still snow, but oh. most of it's melted. Most okay. of it's melted. Yeah. Gotcha. Supposed to be, uh, shoot, it's supposed to be hot, 60 on Thursday, Friday, and then yeah, it gets it get back down to like 40. But yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it. Yeah. Got to go get the ice house off the side of the, starting to melt. <laughs> For real. Christ. So they're saying, oh, this was just posted three hours ago, that uh, Italian camos are going to be the most limited Kobe dropping uh. on the book. On four thirteen, that's the best one too. Of course, that's why. Wow, they know they know which one. Yeah, that one's one. by far the best one. They See, know they know. With that cold. <laughs> oh, For real. One second, J Mac. Let's let's see those. Puppies. Oh yeah, yeah. These ones would match my Italian camos. This is the only. This is the only six we got in the collection. You can we got a couple fours. <laughs> And we got a couple good fives as well. I got 
a few pairs of that Hall of Fame. Kobe 5 uh, as well. I ended up hitting two pairs on raffle, and I hit one pair on Nike sneakers. Oh, uh, Back in, like, I think they dropped in, like, right when I was starting my channel, like, in 2021, 2020. Yeah, 2021, I think. Straight to Toad's going to subscribe to your channel. Can someone drop J Max link, please? Oh, oh yeah. Um, yeah, the We Rock Deadstock account. Can you, um, I don't know if I can put that one in there. Yeah, that. you're a mod. You can drop it in there. Oh, I am a mod. Yeah. Oh, shit. I can just put that in there. Yeah, let me what up, Zang? What up, Zang? It does. It's like right here, too. And I, what didn't up, even Brian? Brian in the building. What up, BBL crew? <laughs> <laughs> I got you. All right. There you go. Get it in there, Rob? Yeah, I got it in there. Okay. Thank you. No problem. Yeah, that's my We Rock Dead stock. Right now, I'm I'm streaming over on, a, on another one of my channels just to kind of test it out. This is our first or my first night uh, running my software. Um, so. Vertical. Yeah. W, that's... But we'll usually be on We Rock, yeah, in the mornings. Oh, uh, you see, uh, Ye dropped a new blank Yeezy hoodie for only $20 tonight on Yeezy.com. What color? Black. Nice. What else does he wear? <laughs> right. More white. <laughs> you got a little um, request there. Let's show off some Kobe's. I'm, uh, Kobe's. Zane, you're going to have to come up here and do it. But, All yeah. right. Well, I'll, I got one more banger. All right. My my wife is waiting for his wife's uh, clothing right. line to drop on the website so she can grab some of that. Let's go. All right. Bianca's clothing line where uh, where she wears nothing. Fat boy kicks salutes, guys. Fat boy kicks. Well, fat boy kicks. <laughs> All right. Uh, J Mac, they're saying that. Wait, wait. There's another channel you're streaming. Send both the other one too, please. <laughs> oh, I don't. Yeah, I don't really go live over there, but. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, <laughs> I'll try to get that link here. Give me a sec. Go. Oh, yeah, let that. me show these off real quick and then I'll get the link. All right, cool. Kobe's. But yeah, this is one of my favorites. I, even though the Kobe fives aren't my favorite shoe, I got super lucky when these dropped. So I picked up a couple extra. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to keep one for the collection. I've, I've worn a pair, so I'll probably just use one is trade bait. Maybe, you know, I, I I would potentially trade them both and then just keep, so I keep one of them. Um, but yeah, this is the Kobe five. Nice. Um, yeah. Kobe five hall of fame right here. Of course you got the alternating swooshes Got the sweet purple Kobe tab. Uh, then you can kind of see the midsole. there, kind of fading down to the purple. They're, they're a real good looking shoe. I feel like, um, you got the 24, 10, and 8 uh, right there on, on the swoosh. Uh, they've been uh, yeah, kind of going up slowly. Probably my, my three favorite pairs of Kobe's in my collection are going to be the, uh, the Grinch, the Hall of Fames, and then I, I also like the uh, gift to mamas here. I like those. Yeah, those are clean. Yeah, these are. It's a sharp shoe. You know, uh, they definitely upgraded the materials around the collar of this shoe. You got a really, really thick. Uh, it's almost like a like a reptile skin. It looks yep. really well with this upgraded material, like you see on the on the toe actually, right there. You got like a nice new buck. Actually, Not necessarily the softest new buck, but it's nice and thick. It makes the shoe look very much more wearable. Like usually Kobe 4s, I don't like to wear with pants. Really, most Kobe's I'd rather just wear on the basketball court. But if you are going to wear one with pants, I feel like, and you can get either leather or um, suede on the Kobe 4, I think this one it can definitely have more than like one wear. You know, right. like a dual use. For sure. There's a really good one coming out called the Girl Dad. Yeah, uh, which is going to be a light green colorway and gold. It's it's yeah, that one's a, a really good one as well. I, I want the Christmas ones. <laughs> oh, oh, the the Kobe nines. Yeah. Come on up, Zing. Yeah. yeah come up, Zing. 
What up, Frankie? Come on in, baby. What up, Frankie? Bang, bang. What's good, Frankie? Bang, bang. I'll put my link in here, too. All right. Let me get the, the link for... There's Rami's channel. Okay. Uh, we got Hunter. Thank you, boys. No. Thank you. Um, hello, says Ross. What up, Bob? There. We're just chilling right now. Ross? What up, Bob? We're just chilling right now. Ross? What up, Bob? Uh oh. We're just chilling right now. Ross? What up, Bob? Uh oh. What is that? <laughs> We're in a loop. Someone's. Ross? What up, Bob? <laughs> is it me? <laughs> <laughs> We're in a loop. Someone's. Hold on, let me mute you. Rami, see if it's you. It's not me. No, it's not you. J Mac. Yeah. Yeah, it's J Mac. I'm like, I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, am I doing something wrong right now? No, that's not me. Oh, it was you. I'm like, I'm like, what's going on? I'm like, am I doing something wrong? <laughs> hey, you got another tab open. Check your uh, your tab. See if you have a YouTube tab open up. Yeah, he's got a, another tab open. I think mm -hmm. when you grab your link, possibly. Let me see. No, did he went to grab it? You grab your link. Yeah, he's still he's still playing in the yeah. background. J -Mac. Got a little bit low in uh, J Mac. Check uh, <laughs> look on your tabs on your computer, maybe under a different browser or something. Maybe you have a uh, YouTube open somewhere. Let me see if you fixed. It. Does that help? It Perfect. sounds good so far. Yeah. Yep, you're good. Perfect. That was, I had a, a I was yeah trying to get my other channel. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I must have hit something. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I was just playing it in the background. <laughs> I was like freaking out. I'm like, what did I do? I could hear it. And I'm like, fuck. No, you're good. You're good. It happens. Oh, yeah, so. You're so used to your uh, your whole setup with the phone and all the little stream yards new to you. So you're like, what the? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. I definitely don't use it. It's pretty sweet, though. It's got a nice interface. Well, it's good for like us who do a lot of lives with the uh, others on the stream. You, you have your other, what do you use? Stream labs or OBS? Or yeah, I use two of, I use like a production software that works really well with like Apple components. And then I use, yeah. Stream labs to question the music you use. Is that your, like, did you make that music or what? No. Okay. no I, yeah. I, I uh, pay for it. Okay. I didn't know if it was something you had made up or nothing. At the yeah, end. that's that's what I'd like to do. You know, it's kind of what I got planned is the channel gets bigger to meet, you know, independent artists and, you know, kind of work together. Because I also love shooting music videos Okay. as well. So you can kind of help each other out if, you know, I would. Well, Bulldog's into shooting porno videos, so if you need help. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I've, yeah, I've yeah, always yeah. grown up being the fluffer, so it's always kind of. He, he's actually <laughs> in the casting couch room, of, you know, if he didn't. You weren't here when he was, you know, be, he shows you the camera. And he'll show you this uh, casting couch. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to perfect my OnlyFans content, but I don't know. You know, my, my, yeah. my shooting. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attach my OnlyFans here in the chat. <laughs> my, my wife. What? Nothing. You guys went. I'll send out the, the free link tonight. Okay. <laughs> okay. Free link. Ain't nothing free. Ain't nothing free. You got a preview. <laughs> But yeah. Oh man. All right. But yeah, so I saw what else was there? I was looking at I saw a couple of things. You didn't see Bulldog's forearms yet. Forearms? <laughs> I've seen Bulldog's forearms, all right. Oh man. We're in too skinny of a window. My pythons I, I, couldn't fit in. Here, there. Robbie. I'll be back in a couple of minutes, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Were you gonna pull something up? Oh. Well, no, I could, I could, they have a Supreme release to retail prices. All right, I'll be right back. Uh, do you want to hey, do you want to pull me? Up? I'm gonna pull up. Uh, I'll pull up uh, Supreme if you want to just put me up real quick in a second. Unless uh, Zeng wants to show some uh, Kobe. Zeng, is Zeng here? Kobe. Yes, he is. Oh, there he is. Sorry, I wasn't looking. What up, skilled? Yeah, Hello, I'll be Skywalker. right back. Man, hit that. Uh, hit that subscribe button, please, uh, Skywalker. Shock drop. There might be uh, some sort of Kobe early uh, EA coming soon, and there's a vivid sulfur EA tomorrow. 
What up, Skywalker? Yeah, appreciate you, Skywalker, coming through. What up, skill player? Salute. Subscribe to the channel you're in right now. I'm not sure if you're in Bulldogs or Hunters or J Max. I don't know where you're at. So I can't blow you up because uh, Bulldog has the control for. Yeah, with the controls is that is out of the room at the moment. Yeah. Oh, I'll just wait for him. Yeah. yeah. Someone got Discord open. Oh wait, let me get the uh, the other Kobe's. Hold on. Hell yeah! So oh shit, he going Kobe Wild. I forgot the other one. Hold on. Nice. Cobrific. Yo, Skywalker, you there? He's fighting Vader at the moment. Skywalker boy. No, don't ever do that again. Don't ever do that again. Sorry. <laughs> Do, do, do. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah it's intermission intermission right now guys get yourself a drink Yo, skywalker hit that little subscribe button on the bottom right there on the top right the red button i'd appreciate it really appreciate it we have some fun over here hunter said do it again no, no, no. what <laughs> <laughs> Get yourself some uh, peanut butter, egg M and M's. You know, some iced tea. You know, a little beverage, whatever you feel like drinking. Some some Kobe's. Go can't find a size ten, Rami. No, no luck. The, those don't fit you to twelve. I wear like three socks. <laughs> <laughs> Just sell them and buy them. I could. Mm -hmm. What about going to like your nearest like resale shop and see and size swap? You would think a lot of LA stores might have it around there, like a lot of stores. Every time I I, I see it, it's gone. Mm. And if you have the twelve, they may not even want to yeah, charge they... you for the size swap. They may be happy to take it. Oh yeah, yeah. I'd be happy to take the twelve. Oh, that's all right, Bob. Bob says I'd show my zero Kobe's, but I'm tucked in. Hey, it's always next time, Bob. We're not going nowhere. We ain't going, going nowhere. No, <laughs> we can't ain't. Be stopped, no. It's ice cream for life. We can't be stopped because it's bad boy for life. We ain't. No Diddy. No Diddy. No Diddy. No so did you guys see did you guys see that comedy? I, I, I about Diddy and stuff today. I didn't. No, what was it? Let Sorry. me play while we wait for Bulldogs. So. <laughs> you don't have to see the screen, but just hearing it is funny enough. Guys, funny. So this comedian. Hold on. LA, I got tired of the media trying to smear this great city. They're saying you're a bunch of fucking criminals, drug addicts, and pedophiles. That is not. section of the city is called Diddy's house. That is the message. Mm -hmm. Someone asked Shohei Otani. I know you got the <laughs> I love Japanese. I love gambling, bro. Or I believe they call it driving. But whatever, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the only reason I think he might be guilty. Every celebrity in LA has had their home robbed except Diddy. And I thought about it, it's like, bro, Robin Diddy is terrifying, because what he is here, <laughs> you break down the door, he's butt naked on the couch, <laughs> he's still sitting on his lap, just, just, just petting him like a Maltese cat, just, meat milk crying, oh no, wait a minute, I thought you was finished, <laughs> he's like, can't stop, won't stop, <laughs> Oh, no. You try to run out, you run out, the door is locked. You turn around, all of a sudden you hear it. <laughs> you ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere. I can't be stopped now. It's your asshole tonight. <laughs> Bro, that was great. Dude, that, that was, was great. Right? Uh-huh. 
Yeah, that's like true. Cat Williams said, he's he's protected that virgin hole four times. <laughs> he turned fifty million down four times. That's crazy. Yeah, that was a, that was good. That was a good one. That uh, was good. <laughs> Bob likes that. <laughs> yeah, I saw that tonight. I was dying. Did Schultz upload that? Was that on his? Uh, well, who, uh, who, who, who posted that? Here. Yeah, he posts. He he he. It's on his uh, IG reels. <laughs> that must have been from like one of his shows recently it was in, in L.A. Yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. That was pretty. That was a good joke, right? I wish I was at that show live. Shit, no Diddy. <laughs> yeah, no Diddy. Where is no Diddy? Did they find him yet? Yeah, he's been out going out oh, to yeah. doing whatever. He don't care right now until he gets busted. Yeah, which is no. He's going around doing whatever. He don't care. Shit. So you going, for anything, you going for anything on Supreme this week? What do they have? You got the the French press. That's uh fifty four dollars. I like the price at least finally for Supreme. You got the Maradona jer soccer jersey. It's one hundred and ten dollars. You got a bunch of like waterproof bags. Mm. That go from duffel bag is two seventy eight, the backpack is one ninety eight, the other bag is one eighty eight. Yeah, some hundred sixty eight dollar jean shorts. Oh, for real. Hundred sixty eight dollar pants. You can pull yeah. them up, Rami, if you. Oh wait, I, I didn't know you were here. Sorry. He's back. My bad. I wasn't look. I can't like when I'm when I'm looking at another page. I can't see what. Oh. You, you <laughs> I'm just doing it blind. Oh man, does Zang already show his shoes or no? No, pull Zang up. All right, you ready, see, Zang? I can see yep. I'm going blind. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, let's start with the the day of Mamba, the black ones. Oh, wait, I remember you got me a size 13 in those, right? I did, yeah, I sold it. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Ash, okay, these are these are old school. Kobe ate Christmas. No, we need those. I need those. I'm gonna need those Kobe's back after I think of what you did. Yeah, I like that one. These are worn. Nice. They look like the stained glass, right, Rami? Yeah. yeah. These are the Kobe Big Stage. Wow. Those dropped last year, right? No, I think it was like 20, 20, okay. 2019 or something. Seemed like yesterday. <laughs> It's <laughs> been a couple of years. Of course, you have your reverse Grinch. Ooh. Let's see what else I got. All right. Hall of Fame. Nice. The Mambasitas. These are actually going up like crazy. Right. Go Zay. Go Zay. Game more or still dead stock? Dead stock. These are the OG Grinch. 2012, I think, or 2010. So pretty. Non Christmas shoe. I like it. Yup. So and then the last one is Poppy. That's size 12 that I can't fit in. You're welcome. So if you Thanks. got a size 10 out there and you're willing to switch for a 12, let them know. Yup. Wait, show, show, show them the finale. The finale. That is you, finale. You got the number eight tattooed on one cheek and twenty-four oh, tattooed. No. No. <laughs> oh no. No. <laughs> no. No. All right. We won't we won't we don't I didn't want to blow your spot up saying I'm sorry. No. Too soon. No. <laughs> I'm not that crazy. I'm not that crazy of a Kobe fan. <laughs> All right, we uh pull this up real quick. How many uh pairs retail Zang versus uh, retail on those Kobe's? Uh if you were to say I think I think I paid resale for these. I, I paid like five hundred, I think, for these. Now they're double. Yeah, all the other ones are pretty much retail. This one I I got off a of trade block. Oh, I forgot what I traded. The, I traded the uh, the Kobe the white the one that just came out the fours. The Halo. No, <coughs> the Halo. It was the it was the uh, the, the Gigi one too. I think. So, okay, so I don't know why that guy wanted to trade for this because this is worth way more. So I was like, screw it, I'll do it. 
Let's go. Yeah. Nice, so, congrats. Nice uh, collection for sure. This is your Supreme stuff dropping this week. Someone who's got, you got, you got Discord open, J Mac? I don't know. I, I, don't hear, know. I, hear, I hear the boop boop. Yeah, that's, I got definitely messaged. I was wondering the same thing. I got <laughs> messages. Um, all the interns trying to apply. Oh, my goodness. They oh, are man. definitely not leaving me alone tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, here's your uh, French press, eight cup French press. Oh, close this out. You don't want to see that, bro. Oh, uh, man. We got the French press for $54, I think it is. I know uh, Influence need, wants this one. Uh, they haven't updated the retail on this one, but they have it on the other on the Instagram page. All right, so you got that. This is the another big one that people want the Maradona soccer jersey. Yes, sir. Oh, my yeah. God, this will probably load up sold out. Yep, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yep. So we got uh the mesh back new era cap. My wife wants the camo one. Nice. Yeah, we got these colors. You copying anything, J Mac? I don't think so. No. We got here's your uh weatherproof your or or uh or Kalib duffel bag. Duffel bag. Waterproof. So if you wanna hide Pair something in there, go uh, dump it in the water, you'll be fine. Pair of shoes. A pair of shoes, you're waterproof. A kilo. That's all you corner boys out there. <laughs> Get you get two waterproof sticks. Yeah, six panel. That one's good for sneaker hunter because it's an S, right? For sneaker hunter, makes sense, right? <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> you got another bag, messenger bag that's uh waterproof. Oh no! Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, these are like two hundred bucks. You got the thousand dollar jacket here, the gem studded leather coat that I would I would have worn if I had hair, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I would have slicked it to the side, you know, a little comb over. It's giving me the the Avrax vibes, right? Yeah. Oh man, Forever Rug says S for sus. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <clears throat> oh, there you go, South Jersey said that it must count as a t shirt. <laughs> This I thought was a punching bag when I first saw it, but nope, it's a backpack. I thought it was a punching bag. <laughs> All right. Oh man. So we got that. We got the crew neck, a small box logo crew neck. Special. What else? You got this hoodie is decent. The mortal hooded sweatshirt. Oh yeah. No. How much are those hoodies going for? Uh, I'll look in a minute once we're done with this. So I'll tell you. It's probably, I'm going to guess 158, 160. It's supreme. That's usually their go for uh, hoodie. The rate. You get this for the stars. Where you wear to work. All right. There. All right. You got this nylon chore jacket. When you do your chores, what is those are the coming out of uh state prison jackets, right? Yep, the orange one, <laughs> yeah, get the, get the orange one, get the matching pants. You don't get it. nylon, that would be like cotton. Yeah, get this right here, get the nylon cargo pants to go with it. Uh, you know, you know, get, the sandals. get the full fit, yep, yeah. with the slide, it says J Mac. <laughs> <laughs> You got the, these are $160, these shorts. <laughs> wow. Shorts. You got, the, you got the loose fit Oxford shirt. All right. No look past week. No look past. And you got this Bulldogs hat right here. The Pro Bowl pillbox hat. Oh, there you go. Let's go. So rocking this. Not made for us, guys. Uh, round heads. All right, and you got the warm up stripe, short sleeve top. So there you go. Uh, 
to your supreme drop this week. Now let me let me X out of freaking twenty tabs. Zang, uh, what uh, um, Kobe's are you looking forward to? Are the on those three that are dropping? Are you trying to cop all three, or is there a certain one that that you want? Uh, I'm gonna go for all three, but I like the South Beach and the um the Philly. There you go. J I like Alan Campbell too, but I think that's my least favorite one. Yeah. Uh, J Mac? Italian Camel would be my favorite. Oh, let's go. I like a little it Italian here and there. They have, uh, they have the. Except for the Camo. They have the South Beach on Hibbit, right? I think I saw it. There. Yeah, that the you, Bobo. Was open. But you got to have a store to pick up. Oh, yeah, there's no store near me. Stupid. South Beach is for sure. I mean, what is it called? Uh, Venice Beach? Venice Beach so, to go with my South Beach. You can, watch, you, you can do what I do. Watch the Venice Beach camera, you know, in the morning yeah. so, uh, while you're uh, <laughs> wearing your Venice beaches. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, never mind. You ain't wearing your Venice beaches. Are they releasing yeah, they on, like, like, sneakers? Yep. Yeah. One day. That'll be a fun release. 413. Three, all three shoes at once? Uh -huh. Yep. The same uh, damn time. Probably all 10-minute draw. Probably like a 10-minute draw for all three. Yeah. I better hit at least one. Right. Kind of like it was a 10 minute draw for both ones uh with the numbers on it, if I really if I remember correctly. Yeah, wasn't the Powerpuff girls we had more than one that when they oh, dropped no, the Powerpuff Girls we they dropped one an hour was uh those uh, sneaker scratchers. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But the last Kobe's they dropped uh the two ones the ones with the numbers on it. Those mm. uh those both went I think on a draw. Yeah, I think so. And when I got those Gotham screens, I'm like, what? You got the Joe Fresh Goods uh, as well. They posted those. So those are going to be dropping uh, next week. Yep. The oh, Freshy nice. 1000s. Joe Frishy. Stanky Pinkies, baby. Uh, Stanky Pinky. I like that colorway. Venice or camo? I like the camo over to Venice, personally, myself. Me too. So first, I just like the Kobe 6 too, better than the Kobe 8. So Gunna and G Star have a have a collaboration. Mm. We have a T-shirt coming out called P Star. Oh man! Yeah. Can't be pushing P after. Oh, they're yeah, pushing after doing what he did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no pushing P after that. Nope. You're just an average citizen. <laughs> My guys. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> you ever see how you ever see how easy slides are made? No. You know what? What I do want? I want that Mason Margella deck. Yeah, I, I should have grabbed it. R. Kelly, the real P star. I don't know. Yeah. Wishing please, plea deals, says South Bay. <laughs> please. China took over as number one. Oh, no. Greg. Gotta, China bot sure. building. Make sure you hit that sub button, though. Yeah. What up, Greg? <laughs> what up, Greg? All right, so here's how uh, they're made. It's kind of look like dipping dots. <laughs> right? Damn. I love dipping dots. Yeah. Hell yeah. Are those the real ones or the fake ones? Oh, these are definitely the fake ones. This is straight from the straight from the Vegas. All right. <laughs> Why do you think nobody was able to lose? Everybody hit. Yeah, that's where they're making them right there. The ones that you hit on uh, computer. I love my Yeezy slides. Well, I hope you love them even more now. These guys are killing themselves to make <laughs> I think that guy was missing a toe. Now you got 
Yeah. All that work, you know, uh, five hours shoot. Yeah, I like a good pair of Crocs and a good pair of Yeezy slides. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm. good pair of twins and a vanilla shake. Uh, that too. <laughs> I'm good to go. Yeah, so yeah, see. That's cargo. I don't know if I like those. The Shrek uh, kitchen sinks. Right. Yeah. That's I don't cargo. think I like them. They match uh, J Max uh, little uh, beanie tonight. Yep, there you go. Yep. I had that one planned, baby. You saw the Jason Kelsey uh, Air Force Ones? The retirement of future Hall of Famer Jason Kelsey. So, what better way to honor his career? Oh, hell no. Yeah, I'm just enjoying the song. They took a jersey. They basically took the idea off of those jackets that they were wearing or wearing around playoff time. Right. Remember the one that uh, Taylor Swift had, and then everyone started wearing them, like even the players. Yep. Atta now boy, the Max. brothers are taking it, <laughs> taking it another level. Boy, no, Mark did he? Slides. <laughs> Rob said that at a boy. But yeah, so you got that. Beard. Yeah, if you're an Eagles fan, I don't think you can go wrong with the. You see, Offset paid 25K for Air Mags. No, no, they're already going wrong. They're they're an Eagles fan. What's the most expensive yeah. pair of sneakers that you I own? Agree. Marty McFly's. They're like a hundred thousand. But I didn't pay that though. Did you buy the Air Max? Yeah, Air Max. The old ones, the ones. But I got the one that's yeah, come on. They, 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 they tie for real and yeah. they blow up. And both my shoes work, and they put up somewhere on ice. You ain't gonna wear them. I, I pay. For, I wore. Them, I wore them too. I wear all my shoes. Yeah. I wear all my shoes. I believe you ain't no shoe collector if you don't wear the shoes. I don't. I don't so you ain't gonna try to get up off them then. Nah, never. And I called him for the sweet twenty five thousand. You call him what? Call him for twenty five, dude. Here in LA, I wouldn't be able to wear the so Air Max stage. I think yeah. he needed the money, and I had it. <laughs> <laughs> I got the money. You needed them, Big Mac. So what's the? <laughs> what's that? Like, you would look good on them. I, love how I you... just it, it would be a pair like yeah, I would get for the collection, but it would just be no pair I could like. I That's don't. That's just too much. Yeah, there just dude, there would be no one I would that I hang out with that would let me wear that pair <laughs> anywhere <laughs> I would go unless I'd be by myself. You can keep it with me. You should skateboard in those. I want to know how he's oh, uh, worn all these shoes. How many pairs of shoes do you yeah, think right? you have? Probably about like six thousand, fifty-five. Six thousand. Yeah. <laughs> you all were calling Capri. Yes, sir. Do you got yeah. your? Do you have a, a damn a room, a house, your a house for shoes? I got multiple walls, and I got houses. I got houses in New York, here in LA, and in Atlanta. So they spread it out, in East Coast. How many pairs of shoes? Six thousand to the wall. Thousand pairs, and he said he's worn all his shoes. How many pairs did Mayor have? Uh, I, don't know. I don't know how much he has. I think that was only like. A couple Which thousand. House? <laughs> I know my friend had over three thousand pairs. Holy shit! Dang. Yeah. What did that fill up? A how many pairs? Or how how he much? Had a couple, he had them in a couple places, but like his. Uh, if you if you ever look at his IG, he freaking. Like That's he, just too much because when you move, that that is that has got to be. He had everything. Yeah, though. yeah like yeah, you know, he, cap. Like, he had all these uh, like all the Sean Weather spoons. Do you guys think he really has 6,000 pairs? I doubt uh, it. Because that's a lot, even for us, like. Yeah, I'll show you. Like, yeah, look at the one guy I know. Like, he has, uh, he's probably got, like, he's in a mayor status. Big boy Chang probably has 6,000. Oh, yeah, he, but he's got, like, a warehouse. Yeah. He's got, like, a showroom, too. Yeah. Hey, look at this guy, Jimbo, I know. He's a uh, local to me. Yeah, but, uh, Let's see, go. So, no matter where. So, this is just Six his. thousand's a lot, though. That's a lot of shoes. I'm trying to see oh, where yeah. he is. Yeah, these are just his, like, some Air Max ones. But you go, like, let me find a little video with his. Like, here you look at back here. This is uh, fours. These are his Jordan 4, Jordan 4 wall. Oh, here you go. This is SBs. Big man. 
Dang. Where does DJ Chang live? He's in uh, Philadelphia. Philippines. Uh, Philippines. I mean, mm. yeah, that place looks like a like a dream, right? <laughs> oh, congrats, yeah. South Jersey uh, got the Noctis. Congrats! Nice. Oh, congrats! So, yeah, so the hot are, step twos or what? Yeah, yep. these these are all SPs right here. This whole freaking room. Oh, no. Crazy. look at all those wow. Tiffany colored SP boxes. Mm, yeah, like I say, he's got. Here's uh, Jordan's. He's How got, old is he, though? He's older guy? This guy is probably around my age in his 40s. Oh, jeez. Wow. Yeah, he's, got, he's got rooms for each, uh, each shoe. Wow. What a wonderful day in the neighborhood. Every three you can think of. Joker threes right there. Bam. Ooh wee. New York Knicks on the top. Man. He gets pairs held for him everywhere he goes, you know, this guy. They send him stuff. Back door. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> Back door, front not- door, side door. <laughs> oh, the they got floor. a door that's held for him. Back door special. Okay. You guys think these look dirty? They look kind of worn. Huh? Uh, his his collection is, I don't even want to know how much of a Look, he even has these that they said. I'm sorry, one second. You're trying to cop those, Zing? I was talking to some guy about it, but he said they're new. They look dirty, don't they? It's just the pictures, possibly. It could be his picture, but yeah, it's not bad. He said he would do it for like eight, some eight, eighty-five plus that ten percent. So he even um, has, even has these uh, friends and family, uh, Tiffany's. It's a good deal, bro. These go. These I go. Both are reselling for what, like twelve hundred? Yeah. These go for like twenty something thousand right here. This pair. Holy shit. That's our friends and family, Tiffany Air Force One. There's still that 10% coupon, uh, Zang? Yeah. Mine expired uh, on the yeah, first. Yeah, mine too. Here's the, last hundred, here's the last 100 pairs of uh, fours that released. He posted that about a year ago. Uh, thank you, Andrew. I appreciate it. Thank you for stopping by, man. Well, thank you, Andrew. What up, Poos Gang? What up, bro? What up, Rose? The OG Hooli. Never mind. A few sizes sold out. Yeah, the Lucky Sevens. I mean, like I said, like here's like a. This was his SP room, and then he remodeled, I guess. Hey, Bulldog, I just pasted the code in the the chat in our uh, in our uh, TV chat. Sweet. Appreciate it. Yep. Bulldog, could you send it to my regular number? Yep. Thank you. And thank you, Zang. Now I'm going to go be a, of course. <laughs> be more of a DJ. You guys, guys want to follow him. His name's uh, Jimbo Slice on uh, on here. On IG? On uh, IG. He said he's like uh, friends with Marindom. Man, of course. Y'all go live every Tuesday. Definitely every Tuesday. And then Rami yes, goes live pretty much every day. All right, pretty much every day now. We got the week covered. You name it. Like I said, he, he, this guy, I'm trying to find there's one room guy. Let's see. Got the Jeters. Nice. What's up, dude? Uh, let me see. Okay, like, here, like Jordan, like uh, Nike set of these. Oh, lucky bastard. Hold on a second. Only an off white I need. That's the one you're looking for uh, to put in the collection, Zing? That green pair? Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know because I got, I got a yellow pair coming. I'm trying to nice. make a move for a sneaker hunter on the um, 
I just want because it's Brooklyn. Chunky, if it wasn't Brooklyn, I wouldn't want him. But yeah, so Nike sent that pair. And then uh the see. blue ones I think are the best looking. The blue ones? We got the, all the cause monsters and crap. Oh shit. Damn. What Professional else? hoarder. Yeah, this guy, this guy, his rooms are just, he has like different rooms for different uh, models. I love it. Wow. Let me see, I'm trying to find maybe all the off whites here, the Chicago's, the uh, UNC's, and the Euro. Crazy. Send them the link, man. Have them pull, pull up. I should get them to come up one day. Yeah. Yeah, I see them all the time. That's my friend right here, that uh, the one I showed you before, he's the one that passed. Uh, yeah, so they were they were good, uh, good friends. But hey, Bulldog, how much you get your strings less for? Uh, ten fifty out the door, taxes, shipping, everything, bro. With the with the ten percent. That a, was it a ten or a ten and a half? Uh, size uh eleven, uh, size eleven, I believe. Let me double check for you. Eleven. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good price. Size eleven, yeah, dead stock. That's a good price. There's this yeah, guy that's trying to sell me one for um he wore it once. It was it's a uh, size ten and a half though, but mm -hmm. he said he would do it for like six fifty, but no box. Yeah, oh man. man. Reverse skunks. Is that for the personal collection or for the toe, Zane? If I get that used, I'm gonna wear it. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I mean it's clean though. He only wore it once. Hey, here's a way to keep your SBs. So beautiful. Yeah, that's crazy. But you, you got it all. Oh, yeah. The pigeon. It'd be easier to say what he didn't have. All right. <laughs> Damn. I don't, think, I don't think there is something he doesn't have. Right? Like I said, he's got the connects at any any shop you can think of, concepts, kith, skate shops. They all hold them down like uh friends and family packs and stuff. That's so awesome. Let's go. Oh, he said that. Right. That's, what, that's what happens if you don't uh here's your shoes. That's like oh. an 80 pair. Oh, it's a three. I can't look. <laughs> that poor shoe has a family. All right. Damn, I didn't realize how much these cost fours are worth. Holy shit! The oh. collection like this, your kids will never work, have to work a day in their life. <laughs> Hell no! Like I Is said, that? the collection in my uh, they sold. Look, he had a couple pairs. Damn, look, like multiples. He's got over a million dollars collection. Oh, easily, easily. It's insane. Yeah, uh, Zeng trying to work out a deal with those chunky donkeys, man. On on a buyer, he, we we're, we're doing the dance. <laughs> nice. How are you? Or the regular box or the special box? Regular box. Regular. Brand new. Yep, dead stock. Yep. Nice. I don't know if I, I like them, but I don't know if I could wear those. No, no, no. Just for the wall, bro. Same thing. I, I wouldn't wear them either, but I don't know. Sneaker Hunter, that's his grail. Would you wear that, Hunter? Eventually. It has <laughs> to be just, the occasion has to be just right. I hate that toe box leather, though. I can't imagine wearing those. Like, at least <laughs> the, the Grateful Deads, I would wear those. Those things crease like crazy, those uh, Grateful Deads. Not Grateful Deads, uh, Chunky Dunkies. Yeah, the Grateful Dead, I don't even think you can tell because all the fur. <laughs> What's your thoughts on a Dunk Low Code JP Ultramans dropping on the 25th? Hmm. Let me see. Ultraman? I haven't looked. Are those like the, those like the silver? Uh... So we got a picture of it? I'm trying to look and see. Dunk Low... Co JP Ultraman. Oh, okay. These are like my high school colors right here. 
Oh, I'll show you. All right. Is that a regular dunk? Yeah, regular dunk. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Not there bad. Is. Yeah, I'll try to see other pairs. Yeah, now found the release of the reverse curry colorway, the Ultraman pair. Yeah, like I said, these are my, my high school colors were crimson and uh, gray. So this reminds me of just like that. That's the crazy thing that all these dunks from 2020 that were five, six, seven hundred dollars now they're obtainable. No, like those medium curries. I was looking at medium curries this morning when Rafi was talking about them. And my wife's size, because she wears regular dunks. So I was like thinking for her. Her size seven and a half on stock X right now is was one oh six is the ask. Yeah. yeah, that's under retail for a medium curry. Those things were going for like four or five hundred bucks. Insane. Yep. Great kind of love sneakers. You look at pandas, pandas are uh <laughs> pandas are ninety bucks. It's crazy, bro. The mm -hmm. the UNCs, uh those went down. Um the the Brazil dunks, they went down in price. Oh, uh, remember the vintage, the vintage emerald, whatever, the green pair. Those were those were like the women's exclusive. I hit on for my wife. I hit a size eight and a half when it released. I, I put them in a trade and they were valued at like three hundred something dollars. Wow. Not, or, not or like a hundred bucks. So what a great time to be a sneakerhead. Yeah. <laughs> Damn right. Definitely a great time. We got Zang over here dealing with Willem on eBay as well. You guys, you guys gotta calm down, all right? Trying to wheel and deal right now. You no. gotta slow down. I'm just you lucky. Stop I'm just stop. You guys are crazy. That's the beauty of nothing dropping in April. We can, you know, hit eBay. eBay. Go <laughs> wild. <laughs> I'm just looking for fun. And it starts for fun, and then you start bidding, and you're yeah, like, oh, they all say looking for fun. I don't, I don't actually bid. I was, I was message the guy. I'm like, hey, what's the lowest you can do? If he says yeah, that, you then start I'm looking good. for fun, and then you end up like that. <laughs> all right, that's what happens when you start looking for fun. You end up like bulldog. Oh no, <laughs> with that wall. And remember, I'm at an Airbnb. I'm not home. Not good, Hunter. Not good. That's just what I shouldn't have bought so far. How many right? pairs do you have, J Mac? We haven't That's seen your Great Wall of China. How many pairs do you do you think you have in your collection? Me, probably only like um, maybe like l less than a hundred, probably. God That's bless good. you. I wish I could say that. <laughs> it's probably it's probably right around there. I would say I've never really counted. Um. But How'd yeah, you stay down? Probably... what's that? How'd you not go nuts? What's what do you mean? Trick? Not copying everything. Well, I just kind of, I mean, I was like, when I got out of college, I was kind of moving around a lot. So I, I really wasn't in. That's it. No, nope, that's it right there. Cause so if you weren't really... moving around, you'd have weight. You'd be out. Yeah. Of oh, I'd have so much more. Oh yeah. And yeah. then, well, not only moving around, but I had gotten in some trouble. And they took everything from me, and then I kind of had to start over again. So. Oh, no. Yeah, that's a bitch. I know that. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. son of a bitch. <laughs> Moving state lines. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'll take it all. <laughs> Anything they could. Yeah. And you break do. everything in your house. <laughs> Got to pay those taxes. Yeah. Yeah, that's it was – uh, yeah, I would just, you know, and then when I was, like, going through college, I would just kind of have, like, really whatever I could afford, you know. Um, it wasn't really about really moving around at the time. And then, yeah, I, I've had shitty roommates and whatnot and, you know, left some stuff behind. But I feel like the last, like, three years I've been in a real position to where I got some storage, you know, where I can actually um, start the collection, you know. Again. Nice. Nice. You try to keep it under a hundred, or sky's the limit? Um, uh, no, not really. I'm just kind of making up, trying to make up for lost time. So, even if I have a hundred, like what I really want is probably like twenty five that I just haven't gotten yet. Oh, okay. 
Um, but yeah, I haven't really went back and gotten any grails. I've just been picking like everything up I could basically for retail the last three years, trading, getting an early bird, you know, for my channel, doing reviews like when I can. But um, yeah, just trying to to hit and, and you know expand the collection now. And I suppose the next year or so, but while the market's low, I'll try to trade out what I don't want or maybe what I got with value or my doubles and then trade some of those out and start getting some, you know, that I've had my eye on for a while. For oh sure. yeah. Hey, How about Zane? Like, How many do you have in your collection, Zane? Probably like 60. If you were to say. Probably like 60. So, I don't have that much room. Cause like. That's room, still a lot. Yeah. I still have a lot, but my room is like literally my bed and everything. There's this room that like my mom sleeps in this room that I'm at. So I can't put sneakers in here. She'll probably throw them away. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. For oh, sure. No. There you go. I don't have any pair. So you try to keep a certain yeah. number as well? or? Yeah, I try to probably keep it under, like, 60. That's why I've been, like, kind of selling some stuff. There you go. I don't have any pair. Yeah, it's always tough. All right? Me neither. Mm -hmm. When are you gonna when are you gonna move, Hunter? You're still on an Airbnb. Yep, I'm in the we're in the process now with uh fingers crossed. We're in that negotiating phase at the moment. So, so you have to like you rent the Airbnb for months or what? Two. Yeah. Fell, first one fell through, and then uh, the second one did, just he didn't want to like work on Christ. I'm like, are you nuts? I was like, you're going to go wait for someone else for two months and then see if maybe they get approved, maybe they don't? The house market is crazy right now. You should ask them to get approved before they even look. Like, when, when they look, you should just ask them, hey, are you pre-approved already? Like, bro, I, I'm buying outright. So they don't have to wait to see if I get approved or nothing. So it's like, I was, it was like, you're not going to, you don't want to work with me? No problem, they, next. They, they want, they want, like, bidding, yeah. they want bidding. They want bidding. That's what they want, though. Yeah, I would. Yeah. Shit, if someone had cash, I would. You know, I would. Thank you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm. I, I know I'm not going to be in this situation again, so I'm making. This sure. closed within like 30 days. If you got I cash, get a, be closed. I get a sweet mm -hmm. deal. Because they want you to come in with this amount, and then they're going to go back to them, and then they want you. They're going to go back and forth. Right now, with the market around here, is crazy. That's what. Mm -hmm. That's what's going on. It's a lot of bidding wars going on. They'll, they're gonna ask for a low price on the house, yep. and then it's gonna sell for like maybe a hundred thousand more than what they're asking for. Oh, if you had all the fees they fucking hit you with, ridiculous, right? And then you Bro, get hit so, the so many fees I never knew about. Then you get the fee for uh, you know moving out of state. Yep, I, I love that fee. They hit you with the tax. That fee almost made me go over the table. <laughs> Get that capital gains tax too. Yep. You, gotta buy, you gotta buy something within a certain amount of time before you know. Yeah. You know, the, the other thing. There. That's so crazy that we fuck get taxed for house you already already got taxed on. That's right. That's you, why, that's why I'm laughing. I'm like, you got <laughs> like, like all you these fucking property tax that you property fucking, taxes. You don't ever own the fucking house because it's like. They, the government That's one of the biggest reasons I'm, I'm leaving New York is the property tax. It's too much for me. Yeah. Like, if you don't pay that for, like, two months, they take your house. Even and they don't money. respect your property rights, it seems. They, I mean, to keep it 100%. Yeah, you you don't, don't want to have to leave your, your property tax. What's that? go right up for sale. Oh, Keep yeah. And I would imagine there it's probably even way more expensive like than where I live right now. Like where I live, where I live, you're paying a minimum of ten to twelve thousand a year. It's yeah, it's probably only like seven thousand here. Mm -hmm. But still, that's still expensive. It's a lot. Oh um, yeah. Remember the one house I was working at the one time in my Especially old job. It's like, what do you get? Like in your city, I feel like at Nothing. least where I live, I yeah, like there's a new school maybe that went up, but I feel like a road. I mean, there just could be a lot. I feel like could be done where maybe I wouldn't complain about it as much. Like, but yeah, it's, Price I was like, up on like, everything my, too. My old job I worked at when I used to work for the cable company, like freaking ten years ago. 
I was at this house. This, I used to work in like the a very rich area, and uh, I looked up this house. The so one time I got there, I'm like, man, this thing is massive. I'm like, I wonder what it goes for. So I look it up. They, they bought it for like twelve grand, uh, twelve million. All right. Wow. So I'm in there, and I'm like, and I'm looking. I'm like, what are the taxes on here? They pay a hundred, hundred and twelve thousand a year in taxes. Fuck me. And then I'm like, all right. I'm like, what's this person do? And I go in there. It was just the helpers were there. And they're like, yeah, the guy is barely here. He's uh, he's something like Dubai or whatever, you know. Like he only comes here for uh, you know, like certain times yeah, or meetings, meetings, meetings yeah. or whatever. He's money laundering. Like, okay, that's, that's his uh, that's his house for when he comes. Yep. So the helpers live there year round. I'm like, man, it must yeah. be nice, right? Like, imagine yeah. paying 112 grand a year for freaking property taxes. Paying all that money and he's not even there all year. Nope. All right. He's out. He's he's out in Dubai the whole time. Mean <laughs> dude. Yep. Yeah, insurance too is going up. Like on. Oh, dude, they went up like crazy. Yeah, we have just a like a. I have a warehouse where I just keep you know like just extra stuff and yeah, that those went up again. And where it's, you gotta like think it's like you need storage, but it's like do I really? You know, yeah, insurance went up like two fifty per year. Like recently, they just it went. It was like a, I was paying like seven hundred a month. I mean, a year, and then now it went. Uh -huh. like yeah. Oh yeah, they're all up. Car insurance is up. Your house insurance yep. is up. Car insurance is up. Health insurance, everything. It's fucking ridiculous. Yeah. I don't they're not raising anybody's salaries. Go the only thing that's yeah, the only thing that's not up is your paychecks. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, um, speaking of that, McDonald's wages went up $20 an hour yesterday, I believe, here in California. Nice. Yeah. $20 an hour. Just for, you, just for you to walk in there and do it yourself on the screen when you go in there. No more McDonald's. For real, right? All right. $20 an hour. Well, I guess so. Uh, Sue woke went the other day to five guys who had food that night after the stream. <laughs> Freaking... Thirteen, what was it? Thirteen dollars, thirteen fifty for a cheeseburger. A little, oh, a little five guys expensive. A little cheeseburger was thirteen fifty. Then you got uh, small fries was five fifty. Yeah, milkshake was like seven joking. bucks. Two people will cost you like twenty five bucks, thirty bucks. Just for yeah, one person, was, one person <laughs> was twenty five dollars. <laughs> so. Yeah, Chick Fil A out here gets paid a lot of money for too. Real. They get twenty seven bucks an hour. In and out gets like 20, 22. In and out manager, that's one of the Dude. one of the highest paid in, uh, fast food jobs out there. They get like if you're, if you're a general oh, nice South Jersey. If you're a general manager of uh, In and Out, what is it? I'll tell you. Hold on. It's like one fifty. Yeah, salary. Yep. Uh, one hundred fifty a year. Yep. Yeah, in and out managers make 160 per year. Dang. Mm-hmm. I'll be in and out. <laughs> you ever see how you ever see how young the <laughs> the owner is? Oh, the lady. She's young. Yeah. She's owner. Owner of uh in and out. She is she she uh Pretty goofy hat you gotta wear, but that's correct. Right. Uh, the the In and Out University. Is that a year? Like, <laughs> yeah, I guess, right? The you know the university is like 10 minutes from my place. That's where they found it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Dang. 160 a year. I'll come to work dressed as Captain Jack Sparrow. Oh man. <laughs> where is it? So she took it over. She got it from her grandparents, or whatever. And I, there's times like she's like they've tried to kidnap her. Phenomenal thing. Um, because she knew she was the uh, never a dull moment for. Her. She's forty-one years old. She's the she's a billionaire owner and president of In and Out. Her net worth is four point two billion. Damn. From In and Out, that's insane. Right. Find her at the Diddy parties. Yeah. Did you know? I can't see that. Or Bill. That's rich. <laughs> Yeah, uh, New York. Uh, if you live here in New Jersey and you work in New York, you get taxed in both uh, states. Whoa. Oh yeah. What? Yep. Oh yeah. They they'll, they'll, the they'll, 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 they'll refund you like some money at the end of the year, but yeah, they'll they'll tax you on your paychecks for both. Uh, like what? Wait, you just pay whichever's higher. Uh, you pay both state taxes on your paychecks. No way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. 
What? Yeah. What? Wow. Wow. I got hired. My Boy, I'm running out of here. I got hired at Walmart. So your state taxes come to what? About ten percent? I don't know. I don't work. I don't. I don't do it. But I just know because I live. I'm really. I'm like ten minutes from New York City. So. Oh my god. You, know, you have a lot of people who commute go back like on, on the train. Oh. It's cheaper to live here than it is in New York City. So people commute like crazy over here. I don't but, know how they afford it in New York City. I I could never. That's crazy. Yeah, afford that. Mm-hmm. Never. It's too expensive. Yeah. Right, right next. I remember when I got hired at my first job, it was like five bucks an hour. You know, when I was yeah, when I was freaking right, when I was younger, wonder what bartenders make five, six thousand an hour. No, oh, I'm sure they, they, they do good depending on the bars. Yeah, yeah it's, it's mostly tips, I'm sure. Gas was ninety nine cents. Well, you think you would make enough to, to live there though? Like, no, could, no, no way. No way. Not yeah. living straight. Not 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 in a good not in a good spot. But. Unless they have a, a couple of roommates or whatever. Yeah. You know, go to Target, better That's eye tough. candy. Stop the collection. <laughs> right? Anytime I have roommates, <laughs> it's like always, you know. I mean, I've, I've been blessed with some good ones, but I've also had not the best as well. Yeah. Well, how 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 populated is where you live? What? Well, the, the town where you live, is it very populated or no? Um, like 30,000. Okay. Yeah. So not really. Oh, and so then the bar, there's really the nothing bar, around it. Is the bar get busy or no? Yeah. Yeah. Where I work is there's like one, oh, yeah. I, I work at like the best place. Okay. The for sure. Water and, um, hole, water and hole. So yeah, it, it, like we're always busy. Um, but there's, you couldn't go around the town and, and find that same stuff. I got you. Yeah, there's like two good restaurants. Hey, when you're the spot, you're the spot. Yeah, it, it, it works, but you know, it it's not near as fun as I had when I was in Arizona bartending. You know, we had clubs and they had nice hotels where um you know, just the drinks are pouring are a little bit different and just a different work environment in general, but and no snow. Right, yeah, so, yeah, you, you got drunks everywhere. You got drunks everywhere. Just not. Yeah. As, I don't have as much eye candy to look at. Believe me, uh, in the Midwest that I had down in Arizona. <laughs> there you that go. That weather difference is is enough. Which one? Uh, yeah. Bedroom or bathroom? Yeah. Yeah, over here. The skinny yeah. ones go south, and the yeah, rest. There's three streams going on. Uh, what the heck? Oh yeah, we got three streams, no, four streams. Hell yeah, the old multi-stream. There, we're throwing some black magic out on the internet oh, yeah. tonight. Yeah. <laughs> knock had to give his shoes. A, he had to get. He had to give your shoes. Yeah, a my kiss. allergies are going off. Knock. <laughs> nah, man, I'm blowing my nose. My allergies are just what, through the roof. What up, Paulo? Paulo, there we go. I said no way. We rock that <laughs> stock. Oh my boy. Coming in hot on a Tuesday. That's funny. You know it. Um, Heck yeah. yeah hey, Anyone hey, get gotten yesterday on April? April uh, Tuesday? Anyone not me. <laughs> I, I, I made sure not to pay attention really to anything on the internet. Nice. So. Yeah, big up chat. Big up chat. Good to see you guys. Uh, yeah, voters reject the stadium tax for Royals and Chiefs. So I said, "There's they're talking about the Chiefs would be moving out of Kansas City if uh, they don't approve." I told my boss today I quit. Did you? What? <laughs> April Fools, but oh, no oh way. Like, what? You should have followed through. No, dude. Yeah, I guess you didn't fire me for doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Yankees got shut out seven nothing. Oof. Shit. Man. Well, first loss of the year. Can't go. Undefeated. Can't go undefeated. Dodgers are up by one right now. Yup. Boston and Oakland are tied in the eleventh. Man, crazy scores. So Jokic, Jokic scored forty two. 
crazy, man. These, these guys score like 60, 70 Let's points go. like nothing. Scored 42 with the right. – he almost had a quadruple double. Yo, what about Caitlin Clark last night? Dude, she's a beast. I, you know, I'm definitely not a watcher of women's basketball. Puts me to sleep most times. But I tell you what, the college, those two, with the performance they gave, I definitely got to give them props for it. It was actually, um, you know, I didn't watch the game, but I the highlights were yeah. um, very exciting. <laughs> yeah, no, she was good. She, yeah. now just gotta, go. she was shooting from way out there. Now she just got to clinch it. And she doesn't really have – I mean, she has, forever. you can tell she's got, like, a girl shot, but her shot is pretty pretty smooth, pretty quick. Um, Yeah. And yeah, she was shooting cool. from way out there. It, did, didn't, it, it didn't seem like a woman that was, you know, shooting the threes. Like, it would – I felt like she was getting them off as quick as a, a guy well, would. She has a, she has a crazy uh... – I saw I saw before on my IG that she has a crazy workout regimen she does. Yeah. Like where she shoots like 300 shots. And like it's I all still wouldn't be able to watch, you know, even probably a half for that matter, but again, it was pretty at least interesting some of the highlights I saw. Where Caitlin Clark I think shot like 330 footers like mm -hmm. in a row. <laughs> So, so they're saying uh, the Vivid Sulfur is uh, supposed to have 200,000 plus on sneakers. Dang, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> 200,000? 200,000 <laughs> plus pairs of Vivid Sulfur on they're sneakers. They're going on sale, watch. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. Just a little. Hey, Debs. Says, hi. Make sure you subscribe, Debs. Debs. I saw someone on uh, on cruise stream sent him stock numbers for uh, the industrial blues that they have out right now. Yeah, they were saying it's like one point two million or something like that. I'll take Dang. two pairs of those though. Right, absolutely. That's a double up. Yeah, I like that one. Mm, one point two. One point two. Yeah. I'll take one pair. See, that's a good number. Exactly. There's a lot of people that want them. That way, everybody who wants them gets them. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Yep. You're going to grab two J Mac or just one? What's that? Is it a double up for you? Um. Yeah. Yeah, I would get that one. Um. Yeah, I would get definitely get two of those for sure. But I said that about the reimagines, and they sent one back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Deb says hi, sneaker hunter. I love you. Ooh, who? Ooh. Well, thank you. There we go. I love you too. He's breaking how our hearts out here in the streets. Heartbreak kid. <laughs> He's a Max heartbreaker. Match.com. You got it. You got it. <laughs> yeah, and you got it, Hunter. Oh man, it was crazy the night where he went live. They were asking him if they could. He, <laughs> <laughs> Don't even say it. <laughs> it is. I, I remember, I remember watching crazy things to me because I was sleeping when you guys went on, so I went back and watched it the next day. And while I was while I was grilling and stuff, I was like, "Let me see what what, what happened in the morning." I see Hunter <laughs> argue with the lady over Twinkie prices. Oh yeah. Oh you. <laughs> oh no. real. I'm like, really? Crisis. He's like, this is a die. I'm ready to knock her out. <laughs> it's a, every time I go to the one shop right, they can't get their own prices right. I went literally to the other shop right, right after them, and they were on sale. <laughs> then he went right two to for, McDonald's. They want the they wanted one for six when they're when they're on sale. Two for six. Huh. He went to he went to McDonald's, grabbed a Big Mac. Oh yeah, grabbed a Big saw, Mac, some French fries. Yeah, he had he had to leave. Yeah, the lady uh, name out every soda that they have on the on the machine. <laughs> uh, it was his first time ever at the at McDonald's. That's what she. Uh, that's what she gets for being lazy. They always tell you that the ma the milkshake machine isn't working. working. Yeah, like, it, always work, it always works up to nine o'clock at night somehow. Though they're, 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 going, they're, they're getting ready for breakfast. You know, no one's ordering. They're like, no one's gonna order a milkshake for their egg McMuffin. <laughs> 
That was probably like 3.30 I hit McDonald's. We were on there for a while. We were on there all night, right? I know. Yeah, I was, I was, I was like, these, these guys sleep? One, one to 4.30 in the morning. I was, I was like, these guys sleep at all? Wait, you were in line at McDonald's for two no, hours? On the live, on the live. On the live. Oh. I went throughout. I, went, I had to go food I had to go food shopping. That's how oh, it started. Okay. That's insane. Next time I you gotta go food get, shopping at night when there's nobody around. Next time we gotta so get nice we gotta get a view of your food, like the angle of the food, not just you, so we can see what you're uh, what you're looking at, what you're what you're buying. Yeah, we need yeah. that helmet cam. Yeah, you gotta get the <laughs> camera. You gotta get the camera on top. <laughs> so, I was like, let's see what what's he walk out with, and what do you end up walking out with? Milk and chocolate milk. Yeah, yep. right. That was from the first one, milk and chocolate milk. Some condoms <laughs> in case he meets a baddie on the way oh, home. Oh, no. <laughs> Hunter's like, I don't use those. Yeah. I'm rod dogging. Yeah, you got to know to pull out. Just know to pull. That's it. <laughs> Bro, I'm a, hey, I'm a unicorn. I'm 38 with no ex-wife, no kids, That's the, and, uh, no ex, and no marriages. Hold on, I'm hold on. All the ladies just watching just dropped their panties when they heard oh, that. No, so no. give them a second to, to pick no. those up. Shoot your shot, Hunter. <laughs> we're, we're at, we're at, it's after midnight, so this is the late night stream now. Give us your spiel. It's the late night stream now, so there's only one way to start the late night stream uh, off with. Everybody mm. out there, I need you guys to do me one favor, and I need you to <laughs> acknowledge me. <laughs> acknowledge me. One second, let me put you on the big screen. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, put that one up for the acknowledgement. That's it. <laughs> I like long romantic walks on the beach. <laughs> Hunter, did you watch the, the Roman Reigns uh, doc, Do documentary? Absolutely. absolutely. That's crazy. That's right. H happy WrestleMania week to anybody who's into wrestling. Oh, you should take the trip. You're right down there, right? Go right down uh, south for a little bit. If the prices weren't as sky high, I would. I was gonna. I was supposed to go to Raw Monday night, but even no at the diddy. last minute, they didn't lower the tickets. They yeah. still wanted five hundred dollars for floor seats. I was like, "Get the hell out of here!" Yeah, I do Raw Monday through Sunday, not just on Monday. Hey, <laughs> oh man, no diddy, no diddy, no diddy. <laughs> so how, how how high are the prices? Now, now since you have the Rock's gonna be there on top of WrestleMania. We're looking in the thousands oh, for good man. seats. Hell I, no. I don't like to go if the seats are shitty. Yeah. Like if, I'm going, if I was going like a big group and we sat shitty seats, is one thing. But if I'm just going to go myself or like with one person, like I, I got to be like four seats yeah. or first level off, off the floor. Otherwise, I'd rather watch at home comfortable. That's too much. 1,000? Yeah, I'm uh, not. That, oh, no, no, thousands. It's, it's, too, nice. it's too nice. It's too nice also, huh? Yeah, that that's and you don't get both nights for that. That's, that's I I would have too much on it where like the smallest thing would just ruin my whole night for me. Spending that much money, you know, I would want it perfect. So like, you know, well, last time it was close. I ended up going to everything but the WWE event because what it would have cost me for the WWE event, I ended up going to shows from Thursday to Saturday. <laughs> yeah, and it was and uh, two shows a day. And that was way more fun than sinking all that money into one into one night show. And what was this in 2019? Yeah, uh, yeah, that's when uh, we had the one time only Ring of Honor and New Japan show in Madison Square Garden. Damn, and that shit was dope. And they had the event. Uh, in they Brooklyn. came. Yeah, you got to talk to a few of them throughout it too. I just remember. I just remember getting hurt. That if, was the, if that you was the that was, the year, I messed, that was the year I messed up my neck. Oh, Shane McMahon, that bastard. All right, what, what up, Nathaniel? Hit that, uh, hit that subscribe button. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate you think you. Roman Reigns is going to lose? I think he's going to lose it and then win it back the next, like, two pay-per-views down the line. Because he's, he's printing money. But yeah. so that I know be, this was a big thing with Cody. Be. Cody was supposed to win last WrestleMania and the and he agreed to, you know, all right, I'll do it next one. I don't think so. I don't think they're gonna get away with the whole spiel again. But now that CM Punk's back, also, they've done. Who knows if the screw job comes in? But right. look at how much Cody though is is over right now. 
When have we ever seen The Rock, of all people, get booed? You the think fans are going to the main event. They, they were going to do The days. Rock versus Roman Reigns, and the fans said, no, no, no. They booed it so bad that right away they had to change it and and turn and make Rock go heel. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Should be good. So they're gonna have to lose Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, right? So what? All right. So this is what happens. Saturday, uh, Saturday night, it's gonna be the Rock and Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. If Cody and Seth win, Cody will fight Roman Reigns Sunday night. One on one, but if the Rock and Roman win, Sunday night's fight will not be a one on one fight, it'll be bloodline rules, which means anything goes. If the Rock wants to be the special guest referee, he could. If Samoa wants to come down with a freaking chair and bash Cody in 20 times, and then Roman just roll him over for the one, two, three, he could. That's crazy. Hunter, so Cody watch... is fighting for his survival Saturday night. Hunter, did you watch Triple H uh, go shopping uh, at Complex or whatever? Yes. What did that happen? The other day, he they did. Uh, it's on a uh, under. No, YouTube. I didn't see it yet. I saw the one with Stone Cold, and he looked so out of place. Yeah, I was Triple like, H. damn, bro, Stone Cold just stunned somebody. Yeah, Triple H went shopping uh, with with uh, what's his name, Joe. That's awesome. I got to watch that now. So. And you know, a lot of wrestlers are in, big into shoes. Like the Young Bucks are huge. They they started oh, yeah. bringing it back. The Young Bucks and Edge. Well, yeah, he wasn't. All the time. Triple H was saying he wasn't a big uh, sneaker guy. You know. Yeah. So the kid, the guys uh, started getting him into it. He's like now he's like it's a big thing. Like people going with uh, sneakers and suits. Oh what's, yeah. What's Co his Cody, name? Uh, Co not Cody. Uh, Kofi Kingston. Wrestles in Mocha Travis's Travis ones. Yeah, hey. I want to get real W. So when I take a W on SP Dunks, I'm gonna hold that bitch up. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, no, I got. Yeah, I don't know if you heard that, uh, J Mac. I got I got messed up at uh, WrestleMania. And I was working at the at, on ringside. Yeah, and I took a shot to the back of my neck. Uh, Shane McMahon's head right went right into the back. No of No way. <laughs> They threw him out of the ring. <laughs> yeah, well, pretty much like, he threw him against the wall, you know. So when then, like when they threw him against the wall, like he like threw his head over, and I was sitting right there with my back turned to him. And all of a sudden, I just felt like a shock in the back of my head. And I was like, "What the hell is that?" Because mm -hmm. it was uh, him versus the Miz. So I, I noticed the guy who was working in the corner right next to me, across like right across from me, who I could see, he wasn't there when the match started. So they're like, yeah, they moved out of the way because they were going to throw him over the wall there. You know, they were going to fight into the crowd. So I'm like, all right, no problem. So next thing you know, all of a sudden I just felt this a few minutes later. I just felt that uh, right into the back of my neck. I was like, all right. And they, like, WWE security came up to me like, oh, are you okay? You know, making sure I was all right. And I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. And, uh, and it didn't bother me. And then a few months later is when it, like, popped out, like, the, out of the bulging disc. So... Oh. Oh yeah, I went through all this physical therapy and everything, but did you did they have did they pay for it? No, I did all myself. Because the thing is, if I were to if I were to do workman's comp or whatever, I wouldn't be able. To, I'd then have to take out my full time job. I'd have to stay home and stuff. I'm like, I'm like yeah, nah. I'm like I'm good. So it wasn't worth it. Dang. But yeah, so like, I have it on video. Like, because if you go back, I went back onto the WWE Network and we watched the match and I recorded it on my phone. Yeah, you can see when he. Uh, so they don't even go when they do that. They don't pre, like screen it out when they, they do. Oh, they do. But he wasn't supposed to get. He he didn't get thrown over the wall. It's just the way his head went over the wall. You know, and, oh. and that's, he ended up going over the wall, like where my guy, where the guy, other guy was. Oh, and you through. were just like in the in between. And then this was just another different wrestling move. That I guess that they were doing that. I guess they didn't realize he was gonna hit hit right there where I was. Yeah. So yeah. That sucks. The the guy tagging with Rey Mysterio Jr. at WrestleMania this year, Dragon Lee, before he went to WWE at in, the, in the, one of the shows for 2019 that I went to. <laughs> he was going, and the guy wasn't supposed to move and move, so he ends up going to dive, and 
I got him on my lap. Ain't no way. <laughs> his no knee, kidding. His knee hit this girl in the face so hard. You heard such oh. a pop. I was oh. scared to look over. I thought her shit was going to be busted. Bro, I, I got up. I had him in my hands, and I just threw him down on the floor. I was so freaking mad. He jumped Man. up, and I was like, what, bro? You landed on me. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and I was it. just telling my boy next to me because he was never at a show. I said, "Listen, if it looks like somebody's going over the guardrail, be careful. That could happen at shows." I couldn't believe it. Seconds after, boom, it happens. And uh, he saved nice. my ass because he grabbed my face. Otherwise, I would have got his right into the mouth. If it wasn't for my boy pushing my head down. Now I'll show you here. You can see. So, if you watch, I'm sitting. Uh, hold on. Like I'm sitting right there in orange, and he throws Shane, Shane's head right there. And you'll see, like the guy, I'm right there in the orange. Like the guys, like grab me to make sure I'm okay. Yeah, but yeah, his. Oh, I gotta get the angle on this. Hold on. But you see, like Shane grab it. So you see where he went over the wall right there. Yeah. His head went right into the back of my neck. Oh, yeah, yeah. You see these people's faces, like, they grab me out of the way. You know, the, the guys in the crowd right there. Well, so yeah, his that, head and shoulder kind of yeah, went Those are that big kid right there. They're big, like, pod, like uh, big uh, YouTubers or podcasters. I don't know what they do with wrestling. Yeah. But yeah, so they grab me. You see him, like, grab his head. <laughs> like, he, uh, mm -hmm. but yeah, see, like, they grab me right there. I'm in the orange. And they pull me out. Oh, I would have laid there just motionless and paralyzed, and I would have been like, ah! There you go, Hunter. This is when uh, Becky won the fight. Uh, look in the background. Oh, shit. There I am right there. There's all there boys. you are. Yeah. Was that before the injury or after the injury? This was after the injury. Oh, okay. No neck brace. <laughs> you almost look like you're part of the security detail. That's what I was. No, no, oh, you were. were. Yeah, I'm security at the stadium, so that's me right oh. there. Oh, <laughs> I took a picture all the way from the top. I'm like, oh, I guess well, that makes more right sense. I was right at the bottom of the ramp where they came down. Oh, okay, well, that makes sense why you weren't why your head was. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, why I started not paying attention. Oh, okay. Like here's uh yeah here's like what Stephanie Ooh, this is one of them. I don't remember who this is, but like there there's me and uh oh um UFC. The hell's her Ronda, 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 Ronda Rousey. Ronda Rousey. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that was her coming down the ring. But yeah, you can see me every uh, Giants Jets game. You can see me on. Uh, see, look for me on TV. Didn't you get trucked or your, your legs taken out one time at the game, Rami? Was that you? I had a couple of run-ins. I'm gonna go to a Giants game and streak. <laughs> oh, <laughs> You're gonna have to tackle me. <laughs> 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 Well, like, see. remember the guy at the Super Bowl that made that bet? Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, let me see if I can find. There you go, Rami. Make the bet, bro. He's, he's you know. Gonna yeah. Have to yeah. I mean, we can split it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Put the word out. Let him roll. Yeah. Take oh, me down get easy. halfway down the field before anybody moves. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so awesome. I would so do that for if I knew what like what that kid did. If I knew I would make that much money, I would do it in a heartbeat. Right. I'd probably do that for free. Right. <laughs> <laughs> make the bet. Rami says, Hunter, hey, yo, that sounds weird. <laughs> you are gonna have to tackle no, me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds weird. It is a little weird. <laughs> Here's a picture of uh, yeah. that probably had yeah, needed a no ditty at the end of it, too. I yeah, take a picture of this guy right here. Uh, messy. Oh shit! Yeah, this is after uh, we had like we have uh, friendly soccer games we have at the stadium. This is like my, this is like my view of the soccer game. And I'm right on, the, right on the field. Is that where you work? Like that's your job? You're, like that's your part time? That's just on the weekends, you know, like when during the season and stuff. Yeah. Oh, J Mac, they got the World Cup finals at Rami Stadium, right? Yeah. Are you gonna be there? Yeah, we got the finals there. Yeah. What? Yeah, in 2026. That's going to be insane when the World Cup comes here in 
twenty. Yeah, we have we have uh, eight or nine games. I think we because it's in like eight. eight cities, isn't it? It's in Vancouver yeah. too, isn't it? Yeah, we yeah. got eight or nine. We got eight or nine. It's in between Canada, the U.S., Mexico, Mexico, the whole North yeah. America. So yeah, we got eight or nine games. Yeah, we need a, a motorhome. We need a Winnebago. We need to travel <laughs> down to Bang Bus, baby. Go Sinaloa, yep. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy working that. Yeah, pick up a couple roadies. Absolutely. <laughs> Let me see. I'm trying to find it. Um, Sneaker Hunter, did you ever watch Lucha Underground? Says Rugs. Oh, absolutely. Who was your guy? Oof. We'll go uh, live for another six minutes and call it a night. That'll yeah, be three hours. Lucha Underground was great. Yeah, they, tried, they tried mm. making wrestling a lot differently. They took a lot of like guys that don't wear a mask and put masks on them and opposite. Ricochet was, was the one of the was the star of the show and he was in a mask as uh, Prince Puma. Who's your Puma. favorite team, J Mac? Arizona? Um I yeah, I, I mean I grew up as a like a Vikings and Twins fan. Okay. Minnesota was like the closest place, but yeah, I, I started to really like like the Arizona teams when I was down there for university. Gotcha. If you guys want to see me, uh, hold on. Where we got here? Make sure you subscribe, Lovin. Hello, hey, Lovin. Hey, Lovin. Hey, Lovin. Hey, Lovin. Hey, Lovin. <laughs> Mike Lovin. <laughs> yeah. Anybody who hasn't subscribed, subscribe. Appreciate it. We all have we all have channels. The names are right under. Our- Thing there, yep, and on the top, yep, on the ticker up there, yep. You so. know it, and we'll be live on on Tuesday nights. I think we're gonna try to keep Tuesday nights open. Yeah, I go, I go on every Tuesday, and yep. Robbie yeah. goes on throughout the week. Yeah, I let the they do the. And do we rock that stuff. Yeah, I usually do the mornings. And Bulldog is a whore, and he's everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> he's everywhere. He keeps him spread all all day and night. He's spread open. <laughs> I've been everywhere, man. <laughs> I'm going yeah, so everywhere, the man. This is back when the, this is back when the Jets had cheerleaders. Oh no! They don't have cheerleaders anymore. No, nope, they got rid of them. What? It's a rule. If you don't win enough for games, they take the chill. Oh, oh man. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, here you go. Here's me and the Good. goat. Here you go. Me and the goat right here. Oh, oh that's... Me, and Bra- me and Brady. TV, baby. TB12. All yeah. the Giants fans enjoy that one. How long have you been doing that then? So you've probably been. I'm there now, what, seven years about? I had a good friend that was the um, when when the Suns were playing, he was the uh, the ball boy for them, and he he got us into like the locker rooms after the game so we could get like the autographs. Okay, a lot of times, sometimes he get the, the home ones, and then other times when there would be like a good away team, he would get us like the away uh, tickets. Uh, I took a picture. I take these pictures in my like wallet. I mean, in my uh, pocket, pretty much. Like, so I have an Apple Watch. So who's I'll that? Up. That's uh, Drew Brees. Oh, so I'll take like uh, I'll keep the phone in my pocket, and I have uh, my Apple Watch. So I can see what I'm taking a picture of, whatever. So oh yeah, the viewfinder. Yeah. So your buddy was in cahoots with Tom Brady, huh? J Mac, the deflated balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right there, taking the balls, the air right out of those balls. What up, Hussein? Make sure you subscribe. Thank you for stopping by. Hell Thank yeah. you for stopping by and subscribing. Yeah, appreciate you guys hanging out on a Tuesday. I'm trying to find. Yes, Definitely. I have some clips. I'm trying to find some of these uh, videos I have of where I almost got taken out. He said, I'm just happy I was able to experience in uh, person Wembley. Oh, Wembley. that would be cool, Wembley. man. It was awesome. Wemby and Giannis. Yeah. I still have yet to see Wemby play or any of the rookies this year. Really, I I love Anthony Edwards. I I can't wait to see um, him. I would love to go to Minnesota next month and and check out check out a playoff game. Might be in the possibility. What up, Alex? Make sure you subscribe. He says we got more people in the live than in the chat. There you go. Thank you for dropping a comment. Appreciate it. What up, Alex? Subscribe, Alex. Hell yeah. 
Subscribe. <laughs> Drop more comments. <laughs> yes, sir. I don't know. You got 35. I got 20. So we got a little more than that. Yeah. Two more minutes and we'll call it a night. You know, J Mac, it's late for J Mac. Are you going live in the morning, J Mac? Um, yeah, I was gonna at some point. I haven't really gotten the thumbnail, you know, gotten it really together yet. So, um, I was just kind of playing it by ear for sure. Thursday, um, tomorrow, I, yeah, I was gonna go live in the morning for that Vans drop, but we got EA tomorrow for the fours, possibly. Oh, yeah, you want to see a crazy time? There you go, some you, something you'll never see again, hopefully. So here's a game that's uh, live at the moment. You see all the all the fans. Oh, the cardboard. It was all. Uh, it was COVID. I can't oh, no. believe that shit. So we had uh, no fans in the crowd. They had like uh, noise playing over the speakers. That was weird. That is. Oh, here you go. Here's I mean, your, just to your, think about that for a minute. Here's your, here's your, here's your team. Weird shit. things got. Oh man, there they are. And the Jets, you know, so yeah, nobody in the stands. Wow, can look at that. So you could you could hear everything what the players were saying to each other. Oh, I would not <laughs> hear. Yeah, that is, that's a great picture. Yeah, no, it was crazy. Yeah, what a crazy time. All right, it's a story Boy. for the grandkids. <laughs> the COVID times. Yeah, poor grandkid, poor kids got the worst of it. Right. So. Yeah, we're at three hours. Three right. hours, baby. Thank you guys for uh, that tuning thing's in. coming threes. Thank you, everybody, for pulling up. Subscribe if you haven't. Yep, appreciate you guys as well. Thank you for having me. Oh, of course, yes, sir. Um, we'll see you guys on the next Tuesday. And next then, uh, Tuesday, Rami... Taco oh, Tuesday. We'll be able to go live tomorrow, see how things go. Yeah, thank yeah. you for stopping by, Zang, showing us the collection. You guys have a good night. All right, guys. We'll see you later.